Is there one else here? Yep. I think it's about mm. time now. Uh, Nick staring at the sun. Ah. Uh, do we have a theoretical part? The only way I can see my yeah, yeah, grenades. Yeah. Right, we'll cool. just cancel a little bit. All right. Oh no, there I go. I got so let's let's just begin because uh, time is obviously of the essence here. Uh, thanks for everyone uh, that helped create the courses. So that would be who? JJ, Kelly, and Tyrone. Yeah? Did I miss yep. anyone? Yeah, all right. So thanks to you and thanks for everyone else uh, who's showing up here. Uh, today's subject matter is going to be MOUT or whatever you want to call it. Uh, MOUT is like an old military term from the US military, I believe. Um, military operations in urban terrain. Not to be confused with uh, CQB or CQC, which is a broader term, but doesn't really matter for us right now. Um, as I can already tell, you all brought basic normal loadouts. Um, everything that's going to happen today is going to, or is, is attempting to help you with your normal team situation. So you should bring basically what you always bring, because otherwise you basically can't do your own flesh and make it less effective. Um, Another note I want to make right now is I can't make expert out of anyone in or experts out of anyone in two to three hours of training. Uh, you have to be consistent yourselves and on a weekly basis. That's the only thing that's going to help you really. Uh, I can just give you some small little input here and then you can try to implement that every every week. If you have questions throughout the whole thing, uh, feel free to ask them at appropriate times. So if I'm just obviously trying to finish something or a subject of some sort, then uh, um, yeah, just, you know, like like another presentation or whatever. The roadmap for today is uh, it's basically split into three uh, three different parts. We're going to talk about ba or part one's the basic part. We're going to talk about it for a little bit, demonstrate a couple of things, and then we're going to move on to the live fire course uh, where you get a certain objective you have to fulfill. Uh, you do that, you come back. We have a quick AR where we talk about all the things that happened, uh, questions, improvement points, whatsoever. Um, part B. It's got to be more movement focused, so not so much clearing every house in a town, but moving through a town rather than uh, uh, clearing everything. I think that's something we do lack and uh, something that we can learn definitely. And then part C, um, the final part, is going to be optional depending on how much time we have spent. Uh, it's going to be a low light thing where we talk a little bit about that, maybe with uh, with suppressors and specialized equipment to just uh, you know be a little more advanced and realistic in what we uh, try to do. Right. So for the duration of this first part, what I want is you can have your weapons out, but please unload them uh, because you obviously want to be going to be showing some some things. So uh, we're going to do that. Um, I've already split you into teams on the map. So we have two four man teams. Uh, I'll not be part of any uh, even for the for the um, exercises because I want to use and kind of see and kind of throw some curveballs at you from time to time. Um, yeah, TLs, you're obviously responsible for your team, so do normal equipment checks prior to the uh, live fire stuff, uh, but we don't have to do this right now. And then, unless there are any questions right now, let's move on to the um, mount principle preparation. Preparation, I think it's called. Yeah, so go over to the teleport, teleport over there, not to the uh, MOUT course, right? So let's show up over there. Where to? Mount so you go here, you go to advanced. Hello. All right. Is anyone not here? Oh, yeah. You can also go ahead and put your colors on, uh, just so it's easier for recognition. What are the? Ah, oh, okay. Seems yeah, they're on the map as normal. So map left I'm side. I'm not yet in the uh, in the team. You are. I may, I'll, I'll redo it. There you go. Thank you. I'll just re-click all of them to make sure. I think sure. we lost someone. <laughs> uh, we're Jack. missing a Kelly and uh, Mark. Yeah, some of the guys oh, are in uh, mild, mild, mild preparation. Okay, yeah. Oh, this is a good well. place to spawn right behind a target. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not live fire, so don't worry about it. Make sure that you put your colors on as well, just for easy recognition. Um, first, we're going to talk about a couple of things. So, um, obviously, one thing that I do want you to remember is that some real world tactics you'll see or have used or whatever or see in the movies or documentations or youtube or wherever uh, don't make sense in an armor setting that is very important to keep in mind uh, we'll encounter several of these <coughs> things throughout the courses so um yeah 
second thing you want to know is that you already uh, when you come to this stage right here MOET you're gonna possess some basic skills uh, such as you know T triple C um, technical so the, the medical stuff the normal weapon stuff your equipment loadout everything I, I expect that of you and I'm not gonna touch on that today um, especially so especially you're gonna need that that medical knowledge because uh, MOET has the highest casualty rate possible uh, or usually in, in terms of combat scenarios. Uh, let's move on to communications. If you're new or if you're not so familiar with your buddy uh, or wingman or whatever you want to call it, um, to communicate a lot, it's not an issue, but do keep in mind that the AI does react to, speed, uh, to, to noise and uh, talking and that kind of stuff. So yeah, ideally if you move to a little bit more of experienced stages here or if you know your partners very well, uh, uh, remember silent, violent, silent, so silent, violent, silent, uh, pretty self-explanatory really. AI is not really interested in speed and surprise, uh, with some exceptions, but they are very interested in noise. So this is again the first uh, one of these things, again, armor isn't the real world, so AI reacts different than a human does. Some principles for basically everything, or oh, are there any questions about that so far? Alright, awesome. Uh, it's the first couple of things we want to talk about are some very basic principles. Uh, security, so remember that urban terrain is usually um, where was I now? Four dimensional. So this, this this does apply for your 360, so you have one more um, you know, you have your four dimensions to cover. Keep that in mind always and this means high, low, this means not just your four corners there. Uh, speed, you know, you should move in a careful hurry. Um, never move faster than you can accurately accurately engage targets unless you're obviously sprinting from point A to B while you're being covered and that kind of stuff. But generally speaking, when flowing through rooms or moving on streets that you haven't really cleared or secured, then you want to be careful and be able to engage targets that show up. Uh, simplicity is another principle apart from security and speed. So... Um, Choose the path of least resistance over the unknown, right? If you've already been somewhere and know that it's safe, might as well use that path again uh, over something that you don't know. And then the fourth principle would be, again, violence of action, but this is not so important in armor. All right, let's move on. Are there any questions about these three things? This is These nope. three things you'll, you'll pretty much always need, so I put them out of the way right away, um, and they'll be applied on pretty much all the points here. Um, yeah, then another thing we always really employ is buddy teams uh, or wingmans or whatever. Um, I haven't set them up in buddy, I haven't set you guys up in buddy teams this week or this for this training because I want you to be a little more dynamic about it and not be so over focused on your one buddy, but instead work with the entire team and uh, yeah, be a little more dy dynamic in that way. Uh, the principles of buddy teams or wingmans always work with more. Um, but we'll we'll just stick with two because it's easier. Um, so what are some advantages of buddy teams? Can anyone tell me any? Over being alone, I mean. You encourage each other. Alright, one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm the president, I go first. Put, put okay, down. Rory, go first. Uh, somebody's always watching your back. Okay, yeah. Anyone else? They just had covering each other, which is the same thing. Yeah. Can nobody get left behind? Exactly, if so they go down. yeah, th those are all correct, and uh, there isn't really a, a, the correct answer, but an example could be communications. You're always close to someone and can communicate. You got more firepower, pretty basic, but obviously true. Um, you got more confidence because you got someone with you. That can also be a factor. Um, and you have the ability for TCCC or Body 8 um, to be available right, right then and right there. And then overall more effectiveness, obviously, in security and angles. Um, yeah, awesome. Reload safety as well. One reload, exactly, one cover. Exactly, yeah. There's basically no disadvantages to having buddy teams, and that's why the smallest operating body unit owner. is always a buddy team for us. Okay, that's good that you know that. All right, let's talk about something else. So in, for this more specific MOUT situation, let's say you have two people, one buddy team. Uh, so I'll, I'll call them point man and wingman. Uh, the point man's obviously on point, the wingman's going to be behind the, the point man there. Uh, the point man's job really is to set speed, He's, he navigates. Um, but another question, is the point man always right? Nope. 
Exactly, yeah. So the wingman st can still slow him, slow him down, uh, you know, change direction, and be also part of that team. So uh, that is also important to keep in mind there. Let's move on to a first little demonstration here. Uh, uh, let's Tim, get over here. Before we do that, hold on a minute. Let me just go fix something. What do you want? Fix All right, are there any questions fine. about the point man wingman stuff? No. I do have, have a, a question. Has anyone ever attempted to... Uh, oh, shit. Oh boy. Uh, has anyone ever ever attempted to th God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> to That'd throw be... a flashbang and then call out to AI so that they turn towards it? Thing to no, they here. get uh, locked or looking away for a few seconds. Okay. Yeah, let's move on to but that's uh, such safety issue here. Uh, there should be a cone in the middle. Let's all get around this really quick. Yeah, Tim, a uh, quick question. Yes. Um you say portman and wingman uh, can they change at any given yeah, point yeah yeah they change all the time and we'll go more into that uh, sooner or later on but uh, we'll just okay. let's say um let's take jack and tyrone uh, you just stand in the middle here and then you guys just i don't know stand somewhere on the outside a little bit let's say we, we i'll give you a basic situation so jack's covering towards the front the red guy's the front here and then tyrone you cover towards the rear let's say you pull security on something all right Let's say the issue is uh, Jack has contact front. What's your natural reaction to that, Tyrone? In a normal situation. Yeah. What you What you gonna do? Jack has is engaging targets to the front, and what's your reaction to that? Open field lights, and there's nothing behind us that I can see. There's no immediate threat, so I can turn and help him. Just do that then. Okay. Yep. What's the issue we have right now? Can anyone point that out? He can shoot Jack pretty easily. Yeah, so... The wingman reacts, he wants to shoot the contact. Uh, there's an obvious problem, and that is that they're very close. And in armor, you don't really feel the body of your body against you. Let's say Jack um, is tracking a target to that's running, let's say. I'll be the target right now, and I'm running to this side here. I popped up in front of him, let's say behind a wall here, and I'm sprinting over here. Jack's going to turn, and he's going to turn right into him, so... The first thing we want to learn right now is face to the front again, Jack. But Tyrone, in this situation, he has to earn, or quote-unquote, earn the shot. Uh, if you want to let me take the position really quick. So what I want to see is, obviously you're going to react to it, right? He's going to react, and that's great, uh, but what you want to do is you want to step a couple steps away, get online with him, and then you can engage the target quite safely. Generally speaking, um, a shooter needs, and in armor this is especially true, because there's no close proximity um, sensation. You can't feel your body next to you, right? In real life it's always different. You can feel them, you work with them. Uh, you can even use your fear mechanisms to protect your body as well, but in, real uh, in armor that doesn't function at all. So you want to give them enough space, approximately two meters uh, apart, and then you can both safely engage targets quite easily um, without having any issues whatsoever or friendly fire, or killing your teammates. Any questions about that? Nope. Right. Yeah, in, a, yeah. in an urban environment, when you got a building, let's say that scenario exists, and you've got a building on your um, left-hand side, and you have a sprinter that runs right to left, obviously you can't step out. Yeah. So what do yeah, you do yeah. in that situation? This is very limited, and on, honestly, I have a little issue with this whole uh, online drill as well, because in real life there's a second one that's called Muzzle Before Flash. But that doesn't work at all in armor, so I'm trying to avoid yeah. that right now. Um, but this is, I think, in most scenarios, this is something that you can utilize, right? So let's say if you go back to the position against our own and cover the rear, or the right or left, doesn't really matter. Jack has contact front, uh, what you do? Yeah, you turn around and then you... Obviously you want to do this fast as well, and you want to do it with... You know, you might have to do it with multiple people. And uh, that leads us to the... Next little part, we can test this out with a couple of people. So let's say red team, you take the, um, go behind the, the, the targets here. And blue team, you just go in the middle with Tyrone there. Just mix up, get your weapons out. Um, let's say... Make sure they're clear. Right, yeah, you, Jack, stay on this one. Uh, Earth, get to that red one there. <coughs> And then Rory, you go to that one. And then who's the final one? Mark, you go to the blue one. 
uh, just go ahead and call out the colors. And then I want you guys in the middle there to uh, pull that online drill and try to get in a position from where you can all engage the target safely. All right, let's start with uh, black. There's two black. What? Oh, this there? No, that one's blue as well. Well, oh, blue differently okay. then. I, I don't Jack, see Jack, you are alpha. <laughs> Whoever's over here, you are bravo. Okay. Mark, you are delta. Uh, Charlie, well, and you are delta here. So we'll, ch we'll start with delta. Delta? What? Yeah, all right. That doesn't really work. It needs to be a, a fast reaction, right? Yeah, but Delta isn't really a, a way to call where the fire is coming from. Yeah, How about right, left, rear, front, yeah. right, left. But it's not going to work because you, you see if Mark's going to call something, it's going to be a different direction to him. Just react to the direction, right? It's not really all that difficult. Should I shout him or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shout. Okay. Set up. No, you don't have, you don't flow, just uh, remain in the situation and it should be relatively quick. So Alpha, Delta, Bravo, Charlie, for example. But give him enough time to flow into the situation, right? So let's, someone start. Alpha! Yeah. yeah, and again, make sure that you have enough space to all engage the target. All right, that's 12. Let's someone else do it. Someone else called it out. Alright, Delta, Delta. Okay, there you go. And next one. Bravo, Charlie. Bravo. Ah. Bank. Two at the time. Two at the time, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, and now you just... I did Bravo. Understand. You can understand what I mean, right? You well, actually, two at the time, we did it pretty well. We yeah, went two for one and two like for three. the other. Yeah. yeah, we divided two by two, so... Yeah, just continue and keep going for a little bit, let's say a minute or so. And then we'll switch. Yeah, louder, please. Alpha. Charlie. Delta, Delta, Delta. Okay, Rock. and uh, so one thing you do want to remember is you want to get online so that no one's in front of you, right? So yeah, whoever is first. A little bit, and then whoever is on point has to kind of determine uh, how far you, you get to the target because, again, we want to avoid um, shooting the, the targets and we want to give the person the around two meters to operate here. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially in armor. It's kind of hard to feel and you can't do a quick look, so... But still, I try to minimize the ability for, for um, friendly fire here. That's basically head the tracking, you can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a great advantage of it. Okay, but continue a little bit and then we'll switch. Alpha! <laughs> Delta! Charlie? Alright, you understand the principle, you, you, the other group, I want you to do it as well, so you have done it at least once, so you guys just split up and uh, get behind the targets there, and we'll do, right. we'll do it we just really front? quick. All behind me. Right. Yeah. Tyrone, just take the, the alpha one here. Delta! Um, do me a favor. <laughs> yeah. Can you yell for me, because I can't do it. I am. Oh, what are you? What are you, alpha? I'm alpha. Okay, yeah. Alright, you set? Yep. Alpha. Yep. Alright, yeah, exactly. Charlie. Delta. Get online, online. Yeah, there you go. Two meters space approximately, so... Yeah. Bravo. Online, yeah. Yeah, Charlie. You know what, that's enough for me. Uh, I think you understand the principle and really the only issue I want to avoid is that you shoot each other, right? So, um, because that does happen quite easily. But mm -hmm. uh, let's let's say this is enough and we'll move on to the next stage, uh, which is over here. Okay, well the next stage would be pying. I think everyone here 
is familiar with the concept, or is anyone not familiar with it? Alright, no, alright, I'm just gonna do one demonstration then, and then we'll move on. <laughs> if I could stop walking. Okay, yeah, uh, you move up, look around, contact, bam bam, bam bam, you set. And then the only interesting thing for us really is, in the team environment, is that you might have to stay here and um, cover outside or something. Right, so keep that in mind that you might have to stay in cover if it's a very big opening or some direction you already took contact from uh, and you have many people that have to cross behind you. And this is where the flowing, uh, which was also asked, begins between point and wingman. Let's say there's only two of you, you'll probably be constantly switching. You'll, you'll probably constantly switch the positions you are in and uh, this could happen all the time. So if you're pointman at one point, don't be fixated on that. You need to be able to fulfill all the roles of the stack. Uh, however, I'm. Uh, uh, this is something maybe you have input for this as well. But I'm kind of always more in favor of having, leaving a little bit more space between uh, stacks and people in armor because just the way armor works. But uh, what what are your opinions on that? No, I agree. Yeah, that makes sense. I I think in armor it's it's just necessary to leave more space than you would in real life because Specific, again, specific specifically in buildings, that's yeah, a big yeah, issue. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm always in favor of leaving a little more space uh, than you would normally, but uh, I think that, that does make a lot of sense. Let's move on to the next issue here. Um, doorways, it's really the same as pying. If you if you move across a doorway, um, there could always be fire coming out of this. Ideally, you don't walk in front of doors, um, you know, and then if you have to go through one, uh, we'll already talk about this now. Um, consider all the options, right? Uh, what's the orientation of the door? Is the door open or closed? Um, what way does it open? For example, on this one, it's really hard to see which way this one's going to open. Uh, can anyone tell me which way it's going to open? Towards us? Uh, yeah, Towards us. Out. No, it would open in because of that latch. I think. Yeah, exactly. So it opens inside. Yeah. Um, it's hard. I picked this one because it's especially hard to see, but on most doors, you can actually see which way it's going to open. So keep, keep that in mind for sure. And... Um, you're gonna reuse this, obviously, by uh, uh, when entering buildings and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. If you go on a door and always on the handle side, will always open so that you can get in. Um. Because I've seen people yeah, come, yeah, yeah. like you know. It, yeah. uh, it it depends. We'll talk about it. You open a door soon, and you can but, move in. But yeah, just remember that you can pie the doors as well, and you can. I do all the same stuff you do on danger areas, which we'll talk about in a minute. I think all of you know it anyway. But uh, you you have to might you might have to secure it, or you might have to do the same stuff you did did before. Let's move on because I think you know this. Next thing is going to be danger area crossings. We're gonna say put red in front on the right here. Just uh, just stack up, just stack up like you normally on not normally would. But let's say you all stacked on this side here. Red red first, blue second. Oh yeah, I was trying to look if I'm red or not. Or blue, you can stay outside and just watch. So, again, I think most of you know this. You guys move up to the corner. First guy um, takes the corner. Next one moves across. Um, he moves across far enough that the other team has enough space to set up behind him. Second Last guy sets up there. Last guy calls it. And then once he's set, once Rory's set, and the last guy's passed, then Earth moves up. Set. Um, the more often you do this, uh, the easier it's gonna get. And you can already see that you've switched uh, between the p different positions in the team by this point. And that's not an issue. First guy can be last guy, last guy can be first guy in this. Um, no need to spend time reorganizing massively uh, and doing all that kind of stuff. Just keep in mind that you want to keep on going. Uh, any questions about this? Is that true for, say, medics? Very important people. Yeah, in the battlefield. medic is also a rifleman, right? I, I, yeah, so I understand that. If you flow through something and if you have to get somewhere fast and if you're just doing stuff, then the medic's still part of the fire team, and so is the DMR and so is the machine gunner, right? Um, they don't necessarily. I mean, if you if you have the time and if you can actively manage this as a team lead or maybe as a medic or maybe I don't know, maybe you you already cleared fifteen buildings before this, and you're kind of not in the mental state to be on point right now. Then you can always say that as well, right? So don't be afraid of doing that either. Cool. But um, don't necessarily try to protect everything overly because everyone is part of the team, right? Yeah. Oh. 
Besides, I just forget my surgical kit all the time, so I don't need. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> value. It's in the front. Just put the medic in the third spot every time. So sorry, sorry. just a quick question. Um, isn't the first man to cross the street? Doesn't he take up the corner? Yeah. Mm. Instead of instead of pushing past. The way I know it is that he pushes a little bit past, and then the second guy. So the, the the way we did it, because that way you always have a cover to the front as well, because you lose your front cover with the when the first guy turns, and then no, you have... don't. Everyone else is looking there. Yeah, yeah but they past, shouldn't. But Over past them, yeah. and so I don't know. Maybe there's different uh, different ways to do this. But the way I know is that you, the second one moves up. He moves a little bit in front. He covers, and then the third guy basically takes this, and then fourth guy pushes back over. Oh, okay. No, yeah, it's just different. I was just. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's just a That's different training is. scenario. So, um, I don't know. This is the way I know it, and this always made sense to me. If uh, there's strong arguments against the, it, then I'm Oh, no, that's cool. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. It just it makes sense to me, yeah. So, um, the, <laughs> the way I, I think about it is I always want to cover or try to cover the maximum amount of uh, uh, space. And this this always makes. Seems... Yeah. Let's finish. That's and this finished. always made the made more sense to me that way. But go ahead. Uh, I. I prefer this way because uh, it's not like Mark said, not everyone is looking forward. Only the first guy was looking forward, which is now on the edge. Second, third and fourth are looking like their own Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're looking at their own until they start moving, so. Yeah. And not necessarily towards the front. And then you have the issue of what we already discussed that you could you know, you don't you don't know so you don't know what the within two meters you can't anticipate the movement of a person. Um so if you if you just lean outside, let's say behind this guy who's covering this and cover the front while the other one is also crossing, then there's a lot of movement in front of you, at least in my um, in my books, a lot of movement in front of you and you don't necessarily able to react unless you step out another step um, to really engage that target down the road. Yeah, I don't see any downside to your way of doing it. Because okay. you always have a gun pointed there, yeah, and then you have always have a guy in point, point yeah. there. And then a couple of points already skipped, like JJ said. I, I just skipped that whole uh, what to cover on the stack because uh, I think you all know this. So first guy front, last guy rear, and then uh, you know the angles outside so that you have everything. All the windows inside, you know, could also be the case. Um, third, third guy upstairs if there's multiple stories. Yeah, yeah. So like low, low, high. Uh, could yeah. be also, but we'll talk a little bit more about movement in the second phase. Um, I just want wait. To... What was that? Hmm? The oh, low, what? low, high thing. Oh, low, low, high, high. We're going to talk about that later. Don't worry about it. All right. So because you have the more multiple dimensions, you have the low, uh, let's say the street level here, and then you also have the higher levels, which could be first floor, second floor, that kind of stuff. That's what balconies, I mean. stuff. balconies, windows on like higher levels, right? But yeah. uh, let's move on. I think I think the danger crossing. A danger area crossing. We, we all know this, but uh, it kind of gets rusty over time and yeah. people kind of forget it. So it's good that we talked about it again. Yeah, you um, ran that in the last time pretty well. Yeah, I think last time we talked a long time about it and that's why we. I think most of the people were there. So this is just a little reminder of uh, what to do. So first guy corner, second guy pushes over, uh, takes the front, third guy pushes over, takes the corner, fourth guy moves up to first and then I don't know, it gets confusing if you say first and second, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It's also written down and it's also written down in the in the thing. Alright, let's skip this for right now because um I want to talk about another principle. Oh I remember this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. I remember this also. Yeah. Also. Slow runners. Yeah, they're just walking. Kelly is the only just one old. that yeah. is apologize. <laughs> um, so this station uh, is more of a principal showcase um, and it's, it's about control and the dominance of physical space. Let's say red team, uh, you guys set up on this cover here and let's, for the intensive purpose of this one, we're going to say that that one is a building. So this little block of things are, is a building. You guys are covering the building. And what I want to showcase by this is, is what you want to do is you want to take control of um, the street, which is, you know, the start path here. Then you have your second team that's going to move up, get into the building with the first one covering. And then you can, uh, you know, you've, you've taken control of the street, then you take control of the building, which you, you also did a little bit by just covering the entrances. 
and then blue team can move in and take control of the room. So, uh, um, street building room, right? But we're not going to go too deep into this. Uh, this gives us uh, the, 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 well, it basically gives you the ability to stay active, not reactive, um, because you dominate the physical space, which means you can dominate the engagement, uh, which will make you most likely win the engagement. Any questions about that? This is especially important for the, the team needs like uh, Jack, for example. Communication yeah. here. Yeah. Um, Just talk what you're looking at so two people don't look at the same thing and yeah, something exactly. is so, covered. But this is, again, this is a basic I wouldn't cover right now. Let's say if that was a third. Yeah, I just think that's let's important look at part that of the building. Machine. So uh, you, could, you could look at this left building there and you could say, okay, um, you know, Mark and oh, Earth and Jack are right next to me. They take the first floor or the, the ground level and then the other guys watch the higher levels, right? So the balcony, the windows, uh, that kind of stuff. While Earth and Jack look on the down uh, the ground level windows and the outsides maybe a little bit to control the 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 um, the uh, what you say the B sides as well so the entrances you want to control the entrances as well so yeah take on take control uh, dominate the physical space and then you're probably going to win the engagement. All right. I think it's a good point that JJ makes uh, about the communication. I think in general we should be speaking a lot more in uh, combat situations. To just to compensate with the clunkiness of Arma and who's looking at what. Because like you said, you don't have that feel of uh, somebody actually being right next to you. Or, uh, yeah, as you said, you, you you feel it normally, right? Or you have some sort of uh, intuition that there is somebody oh, running or walking track. next to you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. Can, you, can, you can definitely do a lot with communications. and uh, Exactly. Yeah, I think that's a good point a and that everybody be. should do more. Just and just the you only don't have place... to shout it out and don't have to be yeah. stressful about it, but just say whatever you're doing and yeah, especially the, your buddy. The only issue is if you are actually inside of a building, inside of a room, then the AI is going to react. But the path yeah, that yeah. is absolutely it's the only the only yeah. place you shouldn't really talk too much is breaching. That, but that's yeah. why I said in a combat situation, like say you are holding here and somebody pops up or you're holding angles and it's it's yeah, basically but... irrelevant that somebody hears you at that point, then yeah. The um the issue goes deeper than that. But another yeah solution is I forgot I lost it when the server restarted. But uh, laser modules with the visible red dots. So if Earth is covering down the street and puts on his uh, laser module, I can everyone can visually see where he's currently pointing his weapon. Yeah, it's an advantage at night times as well. I think at night times our coverage is a lot better than on day times uh, because you can, you have a visible, vis um, sorry, visible, a uh, visible recognition point where my body is gaming, aiming his gun so I can take control of the other danger area and you can't, you know, necessarily uh, see that in the daytime. Yeah. You yeah. can see the line is what he's you can, you can You can definitely <laughs> compensate that, that, that by talking, so. Definitely do that. That's a very good point. Uh, definitely work with your voice. We can, always, uh, we can always lower the volume as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I think, again, this is more for the principal showcase. Uh, take control of the street, then the building, then the room. So, um, yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's move on to this uh, little thing here. Back we go. So I think uh, this is a skill we actually did kind of uh, lose quite heavily over the past couple of months, uh, is the actual building clearing. Um, the way, well, I taught it in the last iteration of this uh, MOUT course, was a little bit more focused on violence, but I, uh, violence, uh, violence of action, but I moved away from that a little bit because uh, um, it, I, I mean, I just doesn't react to it. It's just pointless, and I thought about this quite a bit, so it's just pointless to move in fast. Uh, the only really reason when you do that is after flashbangs and that kind of stuff because you want to utilize the effect of the flashbang or if, um, you know, a different set of scenarios could, could still force you to move in fast. But uh, <coughs> generally speaking, uh, taking a slower approach is usually the best in my experience. Uh, so that's what I'm going to stick with. Um, yeah. But uh, let's let's talk about a couple of things. This is obviously a little bit too big for a doorway. I kind of fucked up on that part, so we'll just act like it's a little bit uh, more doorway. So, yeah. First question you're gonna ask yourself, obviously, is, is what do you expect in this room? Do I have audio contact? Uh, what are the lighting conditions? Is it going to be drastically 
brighter or less or, or darker than on the outside, let's say on, an, on a low light environment, is there going to be light inside? Is that going to fuck me up quite heavily? Um, remember what we've already talked about with doors, which way is this damn thing going to open? Because I've seen this in the past couple of weeks extensively, that people just open doors and then run right into them. Yeah. Uh, not great. Um, absolutely not, not ideal. Uh, apart from that, so I want to move over to two different methods uh, before this, um, on the last, again, last integration or last version of the MOUT test uh, uh, course. What we talked about is the stacking up thing. Let's say um, we'll take Jack and JJ, uh, just get over here really quick. And what we want to do here is Jack's your point man right now. JJ is his wingman. JJ moves up, uh, you know, behind Jack. And he has to let him know that he's ready, right? Jack doesn't have to ask because he's concerned with watching the door, uh, doing something. JJ does something, for example, knocking on his shoulder to symbolize, okay, I'm here, I'm good to go. Where do you want to go? And then either you do it silent if you, you know, if you know your bunny a little bit and can react to that, you do it silent and Jack says, okay, um, I'm just going to go in, go left, and then JJ is going to go in, go right. Or you can do it vocally and say, all right, going in, going left, and then he's going to go in and left. Um, the important thing, what you want to do is when you say, let's say Jack moves in, oops, or let's say I'm pointman right now, I'm moving in, let's say I'm going to say going in, going right. I go in, I go right, I clear my right side corner, I definitely check this corner before I do anything else. Not just for context, but for pressure plates, IDs, uh, everything, really. Uh, we want to make sure that we're not going to get exploded, killed, or whatever out of this corner. Now, what is the big issue with this? There's a lot of uh, uncovered hey, area before the second comes in. Yeah, and you, you didn't really, and again, armor clunkiness, you didn't really have a lot of time to check out the room. Uh, you are basically just standing outside, um, and you, you go into a dark room without doing anything. And like we already discussed, AI doesn't really, doesn't care about your violence of action. They aren't surprised by you. They just turn around and shoot you. That's what AI does. They don't give a shit. So, um, this, the, on, on the pro side of this, you are very far, or you are faster. Um, in the overall process than with the crisscross, but uh, you know you are a little bit more exposed. It's very useful against, uh, sorry, after flashbangs or hand grenades of some sort. If you um, really need to push into a room fast, or maybe if you take fire from the back side or something, you might have to do this. But ideally, you want to crisscross, which is the second method we will talk about. Uh, very similar to first one, except let's say uh, Jack, you are on your appointment again. At this point, uh, JJ can uh, basically, he's gonna, what he's going to do is he's, he's going to pie over to the other side here, and then they're going to enter uh, in, in way of an X. And the way I would ideally have it be done is that the point man still enters first and the wingman moves in, but this is also very dependent on what the room looks like and so on and so forth, so it's going to be very dependent on the situation. And actually, forget what I said last, it's okay if you want to do it whatever way. Um, don't force yourself into some rules that aren't that don't make sense to you. So enter in the way that it's natural uh, and that the building affords, or that the building you know allows. Any questions about this? Um, no. Okay. Yeah. Is there a preferred method on either going uh, crisscross or hooking left right, depending on uh, on the building? Yeah, there could be a physical um, demand that forces you to do one or the other. Um, but uh, personally, I'm a big fan of the crisscross because it just works better in AI with AI and armor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, AI doesn't care about your movement uh, or, or your speed or your violence. They just turn and shoot you anyway. So if you do it slow and methodically, then you have a uh, great advantage. If I'm right. another wall like this going towards you, then you can't really crisscross because you can buy yeah, over. yeah if there's a wall here or if maybe the door opens in a stupid way then you have oh, to yeah. cross maybe maybe jack's right here and the door opens right in his face then yeah it's better to just open the door and pie around and already take uh you know get eyes on on most of the room um and then enter. and then uh do everything works the same you know you go in you still want to check your corners, right? It's uh, it's the same as everything. And then you can start communicating again. Okay, 
doorway right, uh, you know, doorway left, staircase, whatever happens. Uh, you, you know, you flow in, you do what you always do. I think we don't necessarily need to talk about all the kind of details. I think you do know um, how to flow around and that kind of stuff. Just communicate them and um, do that kind of stuff. Jack had a question. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, would it ever be useful? Because I think I've done this before. Is just have someone move up to the door and like position, you know, a rifleman or something. Position already for, when the door's being opened. Yeah, further uh, away. So it's like can be good. A, a man yeah, yeah. moves up, opens the door, and then you have immediate fire into the room. And that also depends on other factors. Then. Uh, oh yeah, what's definitely. What's happening down? What's happening down on that side? What's happening down on that side? Uh, you know, where did we take contact from? Do we expect contact in the building? Because if we already expect contact in the building, I'm not even entering that. I'm just going to throw some hand grenades in. Uh, that's uh, the final point I want to make about entrances. Um, actually, let's start with the question, do I physically need to enter a room? And I already gave you the answer to that. Um, no. No, you don't. No. You, usually you don't. Usually you have hand grenades. Usually you have launchers. You have uh, 40 mic mic grenades. You have mounted weapons. You have vehicles. There's... You know, if you don't need to risk your life, uh, don't. I mean, what's the point of it? It could be the case that there's wounded, uh, wounded personnel, HVTs, civilians, etc. That kind of stuff in there. Then obviously you need to uh, get into the room. But if you don't have to necessarily get into the room uh, for no reason, then you know, just don't. Uh, what's the point of dying when you don't have to, or overexposing yourself when you don't have to? No, um, any, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna ask something else, but I, I semi forgot. Okay. Um, yeah, we're almost done with this part as well, so we'll go over to the live one uh, in yeah. a second here. Yeah. Okay. No, is it? Uh, are, are we more inclined to open the door and peek in and see what happens first, or are we, are we basically saying we open the door and we uh, walk in slowly then, opposed well, to running slow, in from so the walk. Personally, I actually enjoy moving not too fast into rooms because it gives me. Uh, personally, it gives me better reaction times. If I move yeah. in slow, or if I if I move in like this, even, you know, it could be that I'm not fast enough. If I move like this, I definitely know that, you know. So whatever feels best to you, I'd say. Okay, but that's but that's for the actual entering of the room. Uh, oh. uh, what I mean is that when you open the door, do you first peek in and take out any targets that you see, or do yeah, you yeah, open the door I mean, and straight? That's that's what I mean with the pying. So. Uh, let's say Aye, okay. we are stacked okay. on this side, uh, the door opens inside, left to, towards Tyrone. Let's say we open this door, Jack opens the door, he's still gonna stay on, on point. Um, and he's gonna watch the door, and then his wingman, he's gonna, he's gonna just pie around. This way yeah. we know almost everything. We know the right side of the room is mostly clear except for the corner, which could have a pressure plate or something. We don't know that. But uh, what we don't know is what's behind the door, but that's fairly, you know, you already know that you have a, another danger area with this doorway back there. But you, you you already cleared half the room, right? And you already know that there's another danger area, which gives you another advantage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's called fighting from the doorway. Um, and you basically, you're using the doorway as a strong point, uh, both sides of it. Again, that doesn't, it's with armaisms, you can probably get blasted through the door, just as in real life. But like Tim says, right, why risk your life if you don't have to? Fight from the doorway if you can. Clear as much as you can. It just makes life easier. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more scared of actually running into a room quickly than going slow. Yeah, yeah, there's an armor, there's just no point. And even in yeah. real life, it's quite dangerous. I just, yeah. if the enemy is prepared, then you're fucked anyway. Like, yeah. that there's a certain, you know, all, we, all we're trying to do with uh, any type of mount is we try to lower the chances of getting fucked. But the chance of getting fucked is always there. Uh, okay. There's al always, if you choose yes. right and get shot from the left, <laughs> that's always, that can always happen. Uh, so we're trying to put the chances a little bit in our favor to avoid friendly fire, to avoid, um, you know, cross, cover the most dangerous areas for the most amount of time or whatever, and you will be on a, on a good side here. Doors are the most fatal things. In yeah, ever. and another thing, another another reason to do it slow rather than fast, which again, you know, there could be mission uh, scenarios that demand you to go fast and where you have a force timer and so on and so forth where you need to go somewhere very fast need to go into a room very fast maybe there's a tank showing up outside and you just have to get in right now right then and there um, and then you have to use the fast method so you come from this side you still want to be ready with two people right you still want to be ready to to react to potential um uh, i don't know hiccups or whatever but you still have to go fast and then the uh, demand is there 
I forgot what I wanted to say first, but whatever. Basically, you take the path of uh, least danger. If there's a tank crawling down oh, the yeah. street, there's going to be less danger running into yeah, the Yeah, the tank's certain death anyway, so might as well just <laughs> yeah. try to get to cover. But, um, yeah, and then again... Uh, but you can when you're when you're about to enter you can call you can the point man can call out the car the you know the preferred movement right yeah. if you got to get into a building quick you know you don't have to stack up and then wait and then you know yeah, no. the point man can just run up to the door and go you know button hook or crisscross and you know barge through the door and you know and get in quick but at least the his wingman and the people behind know how you guys are going to enter the room at that point so it's just not a big uh, gaggle fuck going in there yeah, it could also be, you know, this is very theoretical, all of this. Um, it could be that the point man has to say, all right, I'm going to pie straight away because the door's already open. And then you move, and then the next guy moves in and crisscrosses in uh, like this. So that is not the wingman, but the point man that does that, then the, the pieing, I mean. It's all about, it's as long as you communicate what you're going to do. So we have a, a bunch of tools now. So let's say we have the stacking method, the crisscross, and you can call it pie as well. Uh, where all, all that works, right? All that works, just... Um, Remember that in a, a quote-unquote real-life, uh, real firefight scenario, and I might, well, it, it will look different than the theory does. It always does. But remember the tools you have learned, and then you can um, choose the right tool uh, out of your toolbox for the problem uh, in front of you. Always watch the person in front of you. Yeah. E and even if you didn't hear him, what he's doing, you'll probably see it. And if he moves the wrong direction, button hooking or whatever, then you just take the other. It's like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, the point man's also not always right, so yeah. But yeah, exactly. anyways, I think we're, we're pretty much done here. I think we're ready to move on. Let's uh, finish off with a couple of questions. So um, why do I want to use this on online stuff? What? So we don't online. shoot each other. Yeah, exactly. So to provide more security. Uh, what three principles did we talk about in the very beginning? Silent, violent, silent. Yeah, so that and then security, simplicity, speed. These. Uh, these three, um, yeah, silent, violent, silent. Um, and then, well, we just talked about this extensively, but the final question I'd written down was what are the two methods of entry, but we already talked about that, so we're going to skip this. Uh, let's teleport over um, to the other part, and uh, yeah, let's start with that. Oh. To us be the live fire section, Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure you check your team beforehand, and I'll give you the objective once we're over there, Jack. Yep, no worries. Uh, we doing checks before, or you're giving objective first? No, nah, just teleport over. There's more equipment boxes over there if someone misses something, and not just Where are we going? Uh, the uh, actual mount one. Yeah. So advanced courses and then MOE. Uh, boxes are in here. Uh, boxes are inside here, yeah. yeah. I love how the entire the blue team just ran in. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm just missing a row right, but uh, that's fine. Rory is inside. Uh, Earth yeah. versus. Okay. Yeah, Jack. Um, just as a heads up, so what I want you to do for this one, uh, do you know where we are? We are currently yeah, yeah, at yeah, yeah, reference uh, 056 yeah. 020. Yeah, so what I want you to do is I want you to basically, let's say, clear out. Um, oops, that's not the drawing tool. And also this is blue. So is your red team going first and then blue? No, you go you go together. Both okay. of them. Well, I don't know where you're... Okay, I'll just hop over here. <laughs> yeah, let's say you clear out this portion of the town. Um, and then just move back out. You'll probably take casualties on the, on the way so that we have a way to reset it. I'll give you a different objective afterwards uh, with a different focus. And um, yeah, do it that way. Okay. Right, uh, red team just move over here, we'll do equipment checks. And radio Good checks game. and stuff. Apparently yeah. I'm the team leader. Yeah. Um, yep. Apparently, I, hopefully I you all have uh, laser modules. Someone else oh, it's fine. Yeah. And, uh, I just put someone in for the... 20 bandages. Does anyone else want to okay. be? Okay. Right. I don't have one. 16 <laughs> mags. Um, okay, uh, 5 frag. Go over my uh, 8 smoke first. and 5 stun. I need more mags. Okay. Make sure you have a radio. Uh, yeah, 15 mags, a bunch of smokes, and then uh, medical stuff. I don't have a uh, three laser module, three so I'll go get yep. that. Go get just the vanilla one. Six I'll smokes. Do. Yeah. 13 magazines. 
Uh, or if you can check me while I'm uh, happening. Yeah. I have 15 bandages, uh, 4 smoke, 2 red, 2 green, 6 frag, 6 stun, 4 flash, and 10 magazines. What's your weight? Radio and all that. 27. Uh, yes, One thing, Jack, um, when you are done with your team checks, uh, make sure that you all okay. go in and save your loadouts really quick, because if you do die, I wanna don't want to lose any time yeah. on that. Uh, okay, Marcus, do a quick check and then we'll go do that. Just give me magazines, bandages, and throwables. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have, what, eight max? Still too little. You're our medic, okay. Uh, Five grenades, five sure smokes, five flashes. Kelly. And bandages? Uh, yeah, 20, four tourniquets, four splints, and four painkillers. Okay, good, good. Uh, go, let's just quickly save all of our loadouts and then we'll be good to go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Splints, I'm not sure if you can actually die off. Grab splints. Uh, no, no, no suppressors this time around. No yeah, surprise. Oh. Just, just focus on normal stuff right now. We'll move uh, on to that later on. And maybe you can see a difference as well. We'll say suppressors, uh, no suppressors this round, and then next one we'll do with suppressors so you can see a noticeable difference, or maybe not. We'll okay. see. Um, we'll do uh, radio <laughs> checks. For, for the Earth. Earth. Checking. <laughs> Send it again. Yeah, Earth checking. Good. Mark. Uh, radio check for Mark. Uh, Bluey, yes. uh, are we all on the same channel, team. Jack? Sorry? Yeah. Are we all on the same channel, or? Yeah, we'll just yeah, yeah. stay on channel. the same channel. I'd say. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I'll radio check, Jack. Five by five. Oh, Ellie, radio check. Five by five. Good, Tyrone. Tyrone. Radio check. Good, Rory. Check, check. Mick. Mick. You're here. Okay, we're all good to go then. Okay. Yeah, Jack, one thing you want to do is you want to respond on the radio as well, so that they know their radio works as well. <coughs> Jack, radio check. You check. Okay, uh, JJ, come with me. Or where are you, JJ? Oh, I'm Kim. Do you want to yes, really just... quickly go over the low, low, high, high, so everybody's on the same page? Yeah, oh, no, I'm, um, so what I want to um, do is, uh, I want you to focus on what we talked about now, and then you guys come back, and for the second one, I can already tell you the objective. What I want you to do is uh, start here again. Move up with the movement technique, low, like with the, you know, it's written in the SOP as well, you probably know it. And, and then I want you to just move through, clear this building here, I'll place something special down there. Uh, um, and then move back again, and this is, I want this to be more speed focused on the second one, but not on the first one. That makes sense. Yeah, so the first one is just, you're just clearing that. Yeah, just clear uh, what I... Hand. Yeah, exactly. So they saw that part and I tried to put it into controllable so one? we can do two runs or maybe even three. Yeah, yeah the entire thing. Uh, with okay. different focuses, exactly. so... I could mark it, but yep. I don't think it's really... That's, no, no, that's, it's smart. I, um, I think it's easier and broken down if we do it that way. Yeah, okay, so, uh, JJ, I'm just thinking initially we just set up the road. Roads, yeah. We'll keep left and right or something between the two teams and then yep. first clear the, the set of buildings and then start moving around the back. So yeah, I think the the, the, the fast movement Try is to keep something... Teams left and right a little okay. much. Little dedicated part to that. And, uh, um, because we're so bad at it. Or not bad maybe, at it. Maybe leave a team here while the section's clear. This is quite tight. This is, yeah. Um, so you do want one team to be clearing this while the other team covers down the street. And then you cover down the street and... Yeah. We clear this or something? Yeah, pretty much. Whoever is on each side, I mean. Yeah. Okay, that works. Okay. All right, well, good. Uh, which which side did you really want to take? Uh, I'll take left. So you can take right. Okay. We'll uh, just move in uh, column teams up till the yeah. uh, first. You see, and that's also a learning point. effect then if you move in a yeah. column now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I guess uh, that's. Uh, Behind me, and we'll. Marching order: Kelly first, then me, then Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, Earth, you're. Where the hell you're is the third in the, oh, you stay in the middle, yeah. 
I hear... Nick? Oh, what did you say, Jack? Uh, the marching order. For now. He's He'll be last tenuous. man Earth. And Mark's second. Yeah. Are you doing staggered or...? Uh, yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Okay, we'll just uh, slow jog it and uh, let's go. Or you take your gun out. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm going so slow. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. please make sure you have magazines and your weapons and all that goodness. I can already tell you that's a very sad excuse for a staggered column. Yeah, my mouse flipped. Hey, movement is clunky. Uh, Wait, what? Moss facing, uh, uh... You want much more space. You're gonna come in contact when you enter the door, uh, the village. It just comes up. Okay. Hands up. Oh! Line up, line up. Magazine. On your left. Okay, that's the uh, red team push the wall on the left. Moving. Blue, let's keep cover. Uh, Contact. Up ahead, 300. Vector. I'll see. I'll go front. Yep. Move from left to right. Yep, keep moving to the wall. Bad. Earth, Mark, take point on this wall. Come on. I need to quickly uh, turn and get my arm. Go. We're good. Do you need help, Chuck? Uh, it's just a, a, a wound to the arm. Alright. You want me to smoke them? Uh, hey, Mick, people? are you uh, in the wrong area? Uh, Jack, we have a man down, smoking, covering, getting him out. Okay, I'm smoking more. Yep, okay, I'll quickly deal with my medical then. Contact down I'm inside of the building. To, uh, to That right. was inside that building, bearing 320, one down. The We're actually dead. thinking cover at the road. Okay, good. We'll uh, push up to the road then and set up so you can deal with it. Okay. Right, that's uh. Once the smoke uh, finishes uh, developing or starts dissipating, uh, Mark yeah. and Earth are going to move up and basically just set up cover down the road. Copy. Okay. I'm uh, moving. Moving. The right side of this. Yep, I'll cover you high across. Hey, if you have lasers, uh, put them on so, you, so, they're, so that you got the red dot. I have a green one. Okay, we've uh, set up at the entrance of the town by this uh, destroyed Humvee. You're good to move to the wall and on the right side of the road. Oh shit, the grenade coming. <laughs> you have uh, a lot uh, of spacing. Make it back away. There's gonna be a lot of uh, grenades. To update you in a bit. Yeah, Rory, uh, just provide uh, rear cover for now. Copy. <laughs> Mark, I'll cover right front, uh, you cover left front, okay? Right, let's push, uh, in a line You're talking to me? Line. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear me, right? Left front. Yeah, because uh, I can see uh, farther right. Yeah, just take the long part of the road, Mark. What? Jack, we're moving on the right building. <laughs> Copy that. Probably from an upper window. Correct scene. Miss for. I have a building here, let's clear it. Rory, quickly uh, deal with my medical. <laughs> right behind you. Uh oh. Yep. Yeah. He's gross. Rory. Rory's unconscious. Did you get that? I'm good. 
Just stay securing. Watch. Okay, I'll go <laughs> you. Sorry, I got you. We have an enemy uh, friendly team on the other side, so uh, I'll set up you open. <laughs> oh. FYI, we have a man down, he's going to require CPR. I'm clear, or lap, going in. I'm Mac, uh, are you kid, you okay to cover here? Is it? Uh, yeah, yeah Earth, come, come to me for uh, and start providing CPR to Rory. Okay, so giving him CPR now. He's uh, stitched and he's. Uh, I'm just yeah. transfusing blood onto him now. <laughs> Let's clear the first one. Okay. Corner. Yeah, could you a man down Rory by any chance? A firm, but it's the training service, so we all have medical capabilities. Uh, he's stable, that. just uh, having Earth provide clear. a heart rate for him now. Uh, tell me when, when to stop. Uh, just I'll check when you're finished. Clear. Uh, me and Mark will continue covering the road. Okay. Get this far corner over here so nobody gets jumped. That guy is Come on, Rory. Pick it up. Cool. Okay, standard covering procedure. We have uh, balconies on the left. I should move Okay, he, he's hard way to go. Oh, fuck. Oh, Our guys are getting fucked. Up, upper floor or something? No, no, it's coming from this building we're up against. Hang on. Got him! Alright, I have two unconscious on my team now. We're gonna fall back behind the wall. Mark, on me. He was behind. Falling back. He was behind. Uh, start, uh, drag Rory behind the wall. Okay. This one's Rory, yep. Yeah, yeah, drag him behind the wall. Fuck. Oh, that was so close. Drag him behind. Yep, drag him. I've, uh, tourniqueted his arms. Mark, when you've uh, dropped Rory off, come back to the Humvee. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm, coming out. Two coming out. I'm here. Okay. Got the rear again. Okay, just uh, set up looking right. Are you okay, Medway? Looking I right. Need to a bit, or the rest I'm fine. Yeah, <laughs> just sort of uh, north northwest. Covering. Thank you. We had a grenade. Run over. As I was expecting. <laughs> That's very slow. <laughs> Nothing great. They're only on the other side helping them. Hi, mate. Okay, that's Rory back up. GG. Okay. Send her own back in. Mm. He is very, very, very fucked up. Yeah, uh, Earth's like way up. quite badly yeah. injured. Tyrone, um, make your way over to back to your team and deal with uh, their medical. Rory. <laughs> Rory, not capable enough. Alright, Alright. Okay, just. Somebody doing the CPR? Yeah, Get with Earth. We move in. Roger. <laughs> Checking pulse, wait, wait, wait. One set. Yeah, do CPR. Okay, covering. Moving across. Two down. Not bleeding anymore, you're you gonna have to push a lot. Across. Left. <laughs> Moving. Move a stern, okay. Yeah, garage. Okay, I got the gap. Go ahead and move down. Garage clear, door on the back closed. Uh, Mark, uh, fall back to me and take over my position. I, nah, I was coming from the wall from our I side. Am I getting shot from somewhere again? Yeah, uh, Mark, fall back with Can me. Can we get some cover, please? Cover to you. Yeah, we're, uh, red team will continue to try and cover for the medics. Uh, blue team, the road won't be covered anymore. Roger that. Mark, take the front where the road is from. I'll take this side. Wait. Take that side. Ah, okay. <laughs> or look to the back. Jack, uh, you're getting shot from far buildings up northwest. Try to find cover behind the wolf. I think I'm bleeding. Yeah, I'm as well. 
I need to banish myself first, I'm just gonna pass out again. Yeah, same. Oh shit, I can need my own heart rate. <laughs> I think Tyrone just went down. Yeah, he passed down. Now I need help here. Yeah. Blue team, uh, we're a bit of a medical disaster right now. Uh, just step out the, fall back and step out the road. Okay, uh, Mark, just provide cover while I assist uh, in saving Tyrone. Cover. His legs are really bad. Iron's yep, okay, I <laughs> Blue team FYI at uh, Tyrone is KI over. Still waiting for Earth to wake up, so we're three strong over. All right, we have no cover proceeding forwards here, so we'll move back to you, regroup, and move on the left. Yeah, fall back to the Humvee over. Uh, just move back to the edge. Let's do it through there. Not here. Okay, Kelly, turn around. Let's go. The gap is clear. Okay, what we? Kelly cross. Me go. Go. Mikhail, I'll want you to cover the street behind us as me and I've, Kelly cross. I've got the street. Okay, just be careful. The guy was firing straight down the street. He's all yeah, the way we're gonna move. Uh, Kelly, we're gonna move around on the other side of the wall. Yep, cover that. Whenever, you whenever you're ready. Okay, you wanna Going. smoke it? Uh, it's fine, too late now. You can move a bit further to the left if you want to see more. Okay, moving. Alright, you're good to cross, Mick. I've got the road. Yeah. I've okay, fallen back in. Okay, uh, JJ, Mark. And Kelly's let's push further down this wall. Yeah, I do want us to start clearing those buildings. Uh, what have you or... managed to clear? Hmm? Uh, what have you so managed we cleared... to clear? These three. We cleared the three, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll start pushing around down here. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, if you, you're Mick, still treating, take... so cover them. Yeah, Mick, take the front. Okay, we'll, we'll take the left. Kelly, let's hey. go. Who is over there? No, Tyron's back. Mark's over here. Okay. Make. Uh, uh, yeah, he's covering. Jack one yeah. here. Oh, fine. We're covering here. Yeah, we borrowed um, Make. What? Yeah, but I'll be in front of this field of fire. He says he has a want? high heart rate. Yeah, no, this is fine. We're yeah, right. it's, it's abnormally Jack. high. He's also yeah, just blood. stay where you are, Mick. Uh, we'll need you to cover. Uh, I've got the, uh, the right Check of the wall. BP. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna pass this vehicle and down that opening. I'm passing with another uh, saline. You want to slow his heart down a bit, or? Should slow down naturally in a minute. Hopefully. No. Down by two. Yeah, down it's, by it's, six. It's dropping. No. Back at the end of this street. That uh, goes to the left in the direction I'm looking. Yeah, there's, there's a wall. A guy barricaded with it sounds like it's a machine gun. He's yeah. pretty entrenched down there. 
this is gradually stabilizing. It's going to take a while. Yeah. Right. If uh, you're done with treating Earth, Tyrone, just make your rounds. I think there's a few of us that need a little bit of patching and, uh, and stitching yeah. and such. Oh. Yeah. I'll do make first and wait, wait backwards. Perfect. Uh, I think I'm fine. Ah! Oh, you shot again. I know, behind. Get the hill top. Uh, see him. Oh, see him. Down, he's down, he's down. Someone say he's down? Yeah, he's down, I got him. Alright, Rory, you be kinda fucked up here, me. Yeah, just keep your sector marked. I'm stitching. Oh. Yeah, Mick, uh, oh, just was... go back to... Pass the Humvee. Bandaging you. Uh, no. Turn to my arm. In your leg. Yeah, he's stitching. Roy. Yeah. Use you as cover, Jack. That's coming towards Remove us. Remove your tourniquet, Jack. Yeah. Moving. Nice. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Are you injured? No, I'm fine. I lost some blood, so I'm fine. Are you good? <laughs> I don't know. I might have shot oh, Tyrone, you're in the line of fire. Hello. Okay, everyone down that side is. Okay, good. Is that an opening con in front of us for the buildings? <sighs> uh, I should be uh, stabilizing. Right, I guess uh, we might we'll probably have to take him. Um, right, JJ, once you've dealt with the contact there, I'm going to have you push up on in front of us and to the left down the road. Is that our grenade? Roger. I got the guy down. Is that our grenade? Nope, that was enemy grenade. Got him down, though. Alright, Kelly, let's move back to the other side. They're on as well. Okay, uh, JJ, I want you to push. What do I do? Red? Just follow JJ. Just push down the road, uh, and I want you On the left side. I want you to take uh, these houses and secure the sort of courtyard here, so we can move Earth in there and such. You see that, yeah? Just Is there any entrance here? No, there isn't. Uh, you have to go down the road and hit the sort of alley on the left. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll move. Mick, let's move. Mark, you're with you're back with us now. There will yep, be an entrance here. somewhere on the left. The take uh, rear security, oh. just Tyrone, let me pass. Oh, no, you're good on there. Did you? I'll take uh, long Rory if you just take on the right of that wall. Give me a moment to check this. Uh, street. Yeah. Okay. He's down here somewhere. Yeah, someone's moving the no AI, AI by the way. So watch yeah, that, out. Yeah, that's Tim. Right. Okay. And, it, and and if you guys want to hook around this wall, I think it'll be safe. If Earth would only okay. wake up, that'd be great. Let me know once you're set. Yeah, actually, I can aim through the window. Oh, amazing. Let's see. Uh, oh, this wall here, I see it. Right side. No? I'm oh, sure. I see him, the guy. He's down. Where are you hiding? He's in the building, I think. I have no eyes. He's definitely right because he can only see, he can see me when yep. I just peek out the. JJ, just pop smoke down the road and move. Popping smoke. Yeah, just pop it far and uh, make your way onto the, the left. Throw. Yeah. I'm sleeping. Okay, few seconds. Okay, let's go. 
Mix unconscious. Mix. Just keep going. I will take care of him. Get over. Get over. He's just blind firing through it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm still stuck on the corner. All right, I'm moving to Mick. No. Jackie might have more luck getting in on the left side. She's just that. Okay, I'm in. Nice. I'll take him to where Earth is. Yeah. Just cover for now, Rory. Running other side. Well. Jack, watch down the... Yeah, dude. Okay, yep, I'll continue covering. Jack, watch down the road, they're running up. We're fragging over the wall, close. Copy that. Uh, we've secured Mick and probably straighting him now. Over. They have down the road cover if you just secure those buildings. Uh, Kelly, you cover that uh, and I will clear the other one once he's ready. Moving up to the Humvee. We're taking fire in here, no clue. Oh, we have to get off this level. Yeah, it's from across the road, I think. What the fuck Go. are we getting hit from? Through, through the wall, through the wall. Go around. Take the windows. Something about that respawn thing. Yeah, I think there's a, a bug with Olympus that the wake up chance is set back to 5% instead of like the higher 15 or 30% chance that we had it at for actual contracts. How's uh, Mick looking, Rory? It doesn't have a heart rate. Okay, but other than that, is he, have you stitched them all up? Yeah, yeah, He's, he got shot in the head. Jack, we were getting shot through the Still wall. Still no Or something heavy. Let's clear this building. Watch the windows on the opposite side, obviously. I'll yeah, cover, JJ, we uh, can't provide cover for the road, um, just because there's only two of us and one medic. Like right now, over. Roger that, thanks for the info. Inside, inside. It's fragged. Alright, Mick has a heart rate, that's it. Yeah. They're not covering street anymore, so I'll take this. Opening. Right. <laughs> right. Well, uh, is there anything more you can do with them until they wake up, Rory? Then. Right. Uh, uh, Earth, Earth's back. All right, Earth. Earth's back. Mick. Okay. Uh, JJ, we're all up now. Um, we'll move to your position now. Over. Alright, everybody, uh, we're going to start that, Jack. We're moving to JJ's here. team. So we're going to go down here, s secure the road, then move left. Uh, Alright. Somebody's on, on me. On me. Let's go. Roy, you look injured. Yeah. Go. Go far down the road. Move. Okay, moving. I can't go Stay low. There. Rory, you might get in the helmet if you stay that high. Not seen. Uh, he's he's sneaky. Where are we going? We're going forwards and left. Someone... Yeah, Arm. Earth, deploy, Arm. deploy, deploy smoke at the uh, blue trash can. I'm in the bottom. Ah, I've seen eyes on. He's at the blue tank, blue the smoke. BTR. Yeah, he's at, he's at that, that destroyed BTR. Where's the other one? Yeah. Right. 
this move before the smoke go out, Jack. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, on me, it's moving. Friend is coming in. Over the wall, over the wall. Roger, we shoot. All in, all in, all in. Mick, Sep, uh, behind that corner. Yep. Opening. We'll cover that side. Did you uh, clear the Clear. Right, JJ, just uh, start clearing the, the rest of these I'm buildings in this courtyard. I'm, I'm not gonna sit at that corner. It's, it, uh, he has eyes Let's on me, I think, over there. I'm oh. over here behind this building. Uh, Jack, this road. Over to that team, this, this building is clear. Just watch the windows on the other side. Okay. Take the I'll just take the final building, like that yellow one, in the court. Coping? I mean, where are we going? We're just uh, setting up the cover here. Uh, permission to go inside this house here, for the peek from the window. Yeah. Bro, are you sure you don't need a um, I'm inside here. No. Your leg look uh, fucked, man. Eyes on me. If you have eyes on that BTR, uh, that's where he was last spotted. Copy. Watch window again. Is it on the right or left of the street? I can't remember. On the right. Yeah. But it like, it basically stops in the middle. And the building is clear. Yeah, that's a wall. If you want the bandage, you can go in there and there. Uh, sorry. Smoke's clear in. Okay, just I be got ready. BTR in sight. I'm looking above it on the balconies. No sign of him. Yeah, he's moved away. JJ, what's the progress on clearing the buildings here? This compound is clear. Okay, copy that. We'll fall in and uh, begin moving down the rest of the street. Over. Right. Yeah, bro, just Roger that. We're moving uh, in position to cover. Yep. Friendly's out. Yeah. Uh, fall back, Mark and Mick. Earth, uh, set up this tree. Try to put the security booth up, uh, behind us. Jack? Mick, move in with your team. Yeah. Uh, which ones are you going to move to? Uh, we'll continue on this side. Okay, uh, we can't really cover down this street very well. I was thinking just setting up in those buildings while you move in front of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what we'll do to cover. Um, here. which one is okay. which one do you prefer, the yellow or the blue? Uh, we we'll take the yellow one. Okay. Has front entrance and, that's and we'll, accessible. So we'll move out underneath that one then into the next one. Just okay. go go set up and. Uh, yeah. Okay, blue team, let's set up in this yellow building top floor. We're gonna cover the red. Moving in. Right, Rory, where are you? Has this been clear? Over here. Yes. Yeah, let's watch, uh, let's watch the window front. Okay, Earth, just stay where you are. Um, the the rest of me. We'll be moving through this yellow building and left. Copy. I'm in All the right. back room. Let's go. I'll cover the back. Alright, Earth has fallen. Or Tyrone, you take this. Keep uh, back security. JJ, just ready on when you're ready. Yeah, we are set. We see the down the street. Okay, we're moving yeah, through the yellow building now. Over. On me. One down. Okay. I'm opening. If it's clear, we're gonna move out and to the left. I'll close the door. Right, it's good. It's just, it's, it's okay. It's just over the wall. Moving out. Big, don't move. Okay. Like from back here, I'm covering. Okay, I'm going to Mark, take, take this wall here and set up security down it. We're getting heavy fire on our building right here. Now, so we're just staying in cover. Yeah, just move up to the corner or the, the edge. Okay, just set up there. Right, Earth, uh, or Rory, on me. We're going to take this yep. building on our left. It's going to be fast. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. I 
Time for a clear. Check a building in the back. Back to clear. Let's start moving up. Yeah, we did. Just stay where you are. Clear. Careful. Uh, for that's the door over there. Building clear. Just yeah, stay low. Got one. Yeah, I got one. Up ahead. Yep, uh, Mark, you send the ro uh, street you're looking at. What? Do we know where friendlies are at? We're in the building just to your left, over. Yeah, do I come in? Mark or to stay outside, safer there. And I'm not throwing a grenade out there. No. No, please don't throw a grenade, JJ and Mick. We won't. What? Don't throw a grenade. Right. JJ, uh, get your team on the ground floor and begin moving down the small street. Roger. Take an accurate fire. Yeah, I just fall back out of the windows. Sounds Earth, like Mark, uh, really fall into the building that we're in. S uh, smoke the front first, Mark, so we can go in. It's fine. Uh, we 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 can cover you. Okay. Not smoking. Got one. I'm back down with you now. Okay, Mark. So we're gonna come Earth, in. Fallen. Yep. Come in. Okay. You, you two south on the second floor. Do you want us to move uh, okay, up front up. to the next building, Jack? Yeah, fall okay. down, start moving through this uh, alleyway and hit the next building. Watch, watch. Roger. We're moving to the left. Kelly, your point. Move when you can to the building, red building in front of us. Or the yeah, copy that. Left. Anyone know if he's on first or second floor? That's friendly. Oh uh, no! Uh, I yeah. killed one on second uh, on second floor. I think there was also one down somewhere. Yeah, uh, we've got long covered. Jack, we're moving past you. Copy that. Get my laser light on. Watch your left. Watch your left. Fragging over. Nice. Frag out. I seen. Rory with me. Uh, this has actually got its own courtyard. Yeah. As soon as the smoke goes down, we'll have All right, we'll go on the other side. We'll, we'll pie it. Okay, get him inside into the building. Left looks good. Tell it. Go to the right. Yeah. We have a casualty. Right, far right clear. That guy down in the courtyard? Yep, yep. From the, from the other courtyard. Okay. Yeah. Yep. He's out. Down. Okay, fall back in. Come back. I'll throw a grenade over for a good measure. Yeah. Grenade out. Okay, let's fall back in. Jack, Kelly and I are in the garage. We'll try to clear the back courtyard. Should be good. Uh, I just threw a grenade there. Over. Stop throwing nice, please, thank you. I don't see anything in some other house. Yeah, can you get someone to watch where we came from? That's where the guy came for me. Okay. I'll cover uh, immediate to the right if you want to cover far. Across the, the courtyard. Wyatt what? building, second story. Second, whatever the thing is called. Can you see down the street? Mix stabilizing now. Your BP is a bit low, uh, Tyrone. I'm gonna pass you a uh, saline. Thank you. 
earth mark drop from the second floor back down here and move out onto the street and cover left and right. Alright, let's go. Done. Going down yeah, there? Yeah, Mark, you step on the wall and look right, Earth, you take left. Both okay. up. You Set. look a bit fucked up. Okay, door here. No, no, but I'm fine. Ooh. Okay. Rory, uh, you move out and uh, cover the same path as uh, Earth on the left. Yep. Tyrone, you should be safe from the back. It's a closed courtyard. Mark, if you have a lethal, throw it down the street. I'll toss it. I got him, I got him. Okay. No grenade? No grenade, no it's fine. No it's fine. Need. Hey, just keep okay. covering with earth. Hey, Mark, don't move to the left. Just stay, just hug the wall. I've got, I've got your right. Cover. That guy behind a bush there down there. Right? fucking fat with all yeah. the snacks I'm eating while I'm passed out. <laughs> right, Tyrone, Mick, move in with uh, JJ. What did you say? Move, move in with JJ. Uh, right now. Uh, Red building me. on the, the west. Copy that. Uh, Tyrone and Mick are good and they're making their way to you now. Over. Didn't they say that this first, first, still watch first time is going to be fast and the second enemy. time is uh, longer? <laughs> I think the first one is going to be uh, the, only time. the first time. <laughs> JJ, just uh, put a black dot on any buildings that you've cleared, just so I, I know. Over. I'm happy Tyrone is on our side. It's fine, Mark. Uh, just hug, hug the wall. Um, I've got that immediate. Clo if I, I've got that closer, you want to take to the sort of the right of the street. Sure. Just don't, just don't move if something shows. JJ, where is your uh, team at now? Over. We're in the red building, left of you. Have you cleared it? Over. Clearing right now at the stairs, bottom floor. Copy that. Do that. Set up, and uh, I'll move my team further down the street and take the next building over. Roger. Earth, What's up? when we uh, get confirmation that JJ has uh, cleared his building and set up, uh, you'll be on point when we start moving down the street. Copy. Jack, are you moving to the building west of us? Should we cover from this building or move on? Yeah, just set up in that building and when you're set we'll start moving to the next building. Over. Roger that, our Tyrone and Mick on their way. They were on their way two minutes ago or so. Over. I hear them now, uh, move in 30 seconds, we're almost set. The other 30 seconds confirmed, over. Okay Mark, I'm reloading. Go. Yeah, I'm good. More cover. Okay, red team moving. All right, Mark, you'll be on rear security. You're covered. Cover. Smoke out. Right, um. Okay. That's friendly smoke, guys. Right. Negative. 
Just past the smoke. Yeah. The smoke is. I contact. Get contact. No clue. Head. Grenade. Two unconscious. Yep. Red team. Mark, grab Rory. Take him into the building. <laughs> I'll take Earth. I'm hurting myself a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Just pick him up and start moving. Copy. Grabbing Rory. Get into this building. Opening. Yep. I'll jump on the balcony to cover them. <laughs> oh. Get him in, get him in. Oh, I'm gonna drop unconscious shortly as well. <laughs> okay. Earth's in. Tyrone? Yeah. We're all pretty fucked. Come on. I'm tourniquet myself. Earth Rory and Rory is on both unconscious. Uh, Watch the windows. Watch the windows. Firing. Watch the windows. Sorry? I'm watching the back of it and bandaging. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna deal with Rory. Mark, tourniquet yourself and then we'll start dealing with Earth. Oh, I'm bleeding from the torso. I'll, I'll field dress myself and. Okay. Did you tourniquet. take that contact down? Uh, unknown. Yeah, I'm okay. good. And Rory, you don't I would just to die. cover the street. Yeah, I'm trying to watch our back. But... Jack, you're right in the window way. Uh, okay, I'll drop prone. Just step between the windows at least. Holy shit. <laughs> Earth, you're gonna die. Uh, or I'm gonna pass out unconscious first. I'll be over to Earth in a second. Is anyone upstairs? Mark? Yes. Yeah, Mick and I. Uh, stay down, stay down. Assist, uh, treating, start treating myself, if you're good. You? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, start treating me. I'm also bleeding. <laughs> I'm probably going to pass out. I'm on Earth. Okay, I'm treating his head. I've tourniqueted the rest of his uh, wounds. I'll yeah. do, like it's down the do street, left leg. Like... Yeah, I've got smoke blocking me. I can't see. Take care of yourself now, Jack. I'll be able to deal with this. That's a grenade. Okay. Yeah. I'm just removing it. I'm trying to get on leg. Fuck! Contact down. Uh, deal with yourself quickly. Okay. JJ's down next to me. Marks. Deal with JJ. Uh, J uh, J J it's okay. It's okay. JJ's got it. He's just got a small one. Alright. You should be pretty good. Okay, you set up here while I continue treating myself. Copy. Down. I'm back up. Back up on my own. <laughs> I think it was concussion, maybe? I don't feel hurt. It was from that grenade. Okay, I'm, I'm almost set. I'll be able to cover. Gonna close the back door. Peeking this window down the street as well. <laughs> Would you like to continue? Well, we haven't completed the objective. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six buildings to. Yeah, well, um, I'm quite happy to continue. Yep. Yeah, okay. I mean, we haven't lost. <laughs> no one's died. <laughs> Sorry. What? One guy has died, right? Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? We got a replacement. We got a replacement, Tyrone. That's fine. Ah, okay. I might have just been healed, so I might have been dead. Oh, Rory, you're awake. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we don't have a lot of AI left. I think I pumped at least half a mag into uh, some AI sitting far away, but there was a fence in front of him, and I don't think it registered. Really weird. Oh. Okay, everyone's back. Okay. Yeah, I think we're Let's getting, all uh, fall out of this building and return to the uh, starting location. Oh my god, just one shot <laughs> and I fell down. We're down. Okay, well, uh, Earth, just start the. Oh, gun. Just jog down the street. Keep your gun out. One, two, three, four. That's all. Red team. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're all in. I'll be last man. Yep. 
Yeah, just call him. Keep your gun raised I and we'll jog it. Nah, I literally deleted the AI, so you should be clear to just fall back. Sorry, how many times did you get shot? Uh, three or four times. Comparable. Yeah, Tim, just uh, slowly start healing all of us as we run back there. Who was that? Tyrone? Oh. I roll and swap positions with me. I'm bleeding, so I might go unconscious. You can pick me up and see if I drop. I'll consider it. Oh, look, it's my clone. Yeah. Alright, let's just fast jog it. Let's sprint, not fast jog. What do you do you? <laughs> What's wrong with this part of the like when we walk down here suddenly all the trees disappear for a brief second? That would be lacking like testing, back. JJ. Well who's testing? Not mine, clearly. Okay, that's just double time at you lot. Yeah, that's true. It's refreshing. I won't deal, deal with my medical when we stop. Oh, not, it has it heals me. <laughs> Alright, we're all here, Tim. Yep, blue is present. Alright. Do you need to be healed still? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to do it while we were making our way back. No. I was placing the next module. Uh, yeah, just do the once over everybody, eh? Ah, wonderful. See you again. Alright, Baron should be good then, um, okay, so you can you do your own AR and I'll just say what I want to say in the end. Like, what are some issues you find uh, with leading Jack and what are some things that you found interesting or learned or whatever? Obviously it was a bit harder than just AI, uh, but there were some restrictions too. Um... But yeah, go ahead. Obviously for the first response to contact, um, I was in the point, so I don't know how quickly we all lined up after calling in on the radio. I don't know if that was something instinctual that everyone started doing. Um, do any comments on that? It, it wasn't too bad. Could have been faster though. Yeah, um, I think I wasn't too sure until I called it on the radio if that was actually already happening because I was in the point on, on first, so I couldn't actually see people were moving like that, but I think after we did line up, it was good. We started just suppressing whatever was here. Um, at, at the first casualty there, though. Me up on the hill, 69. Mm -hmm. um, Moved a bit too far up, and I think got shot from somewhere back here. Yeah, so I guess maybe that's something to consider when going online is if we all maybe do it, then the you got like a hundred wide uh, line, so maybe maybe they're just first four men or something when that happens. I don't know if you could input on that, Tim. Yeah, no, I think this is uh, uh, yeah. Do it with the first four men, and the second team can still pull security on the other side. Um, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Um. So afterwards, step out the wall here. Um. My understanding was. Any contacts in the town wouldn't be able to come from the this side, so maybe. Oh I'd... yeah, no, they spawn outside as well. They spawn out here and out here. So, but basically everything inside of this this area is, is hostile. Yeah, yeah so... anything basically inside the rock area. The rock is kind of the the rocks are kind of the boundary, for the most part. Okay. I did move one machine gun up here because you were all huddled up. There. Yeah, yeah. Um, so maybe the security on the back was a bit light. Um. But anyway, pushed up. I think we covered, or at least set up for covering the road. Uh, 
fine. Um, and I think that's where we took our second contact from a window, just yeah. looking at the Humvees here. Um, but I think once your team, JJ, got across, they're that fine. And that's where we took a lot of the... Um, a lot of the like, unconsciousness guys, or a lot of the injuries. But I think once we eventually fell back, regrouped, and got everyone back up on their feet with enough force to push in and cover all this and, and take this courtyard, it was fine. And once again, when we were regrouped, managed to push out and take the next courtyard. It was maybe a bit slow once we had regrouped and were back to full fighting force, but I think definitely by the time we had hit this building and this building, we had sort of probably got more into the flow of it with the uh, covering and stuff. Yeah. Grenades are chaotic. They hurt so much. <laughs> Anyone else have anything? I'm going to delete the markers for this one. Oh yeah, that's fine. I don't know. If yeah. Know, so. Earth is a lazy bitch. What? It was sleeping the whole thing. Through the well, whole I, thing. <laughs> um, how I got uh, shot was um, I was uh, uh, over here. Um, yeah, tried to get uh, Rory up. And um, the other team opened the door. And the, the guy just shot out of the door and, uh, and hit me. So Yeah, but it take, took you a long time to get up. Yeah, yeah. I think, I don't know what the... Funny. I think when I was talking to Tyrone about it, the wake-up chance is still at 5% on Olympus or something. Yeah, I started yeah. reviving people after a while because it just took too long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's maybe also why we were so slow. Because I know, I, I know, Earth was stabilized with relative speed, but you know, he slept for a long time. I nearly have a cardiac arrest for like two or three times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I tried to, I tried to, to only revive people when they were out of the critical stage and more into the, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. he should be waking up that's with fine. normal settings. There we have. But uh, yeah, from my point of view, what I can tell you, I mostly played or organized all I didn't play that. Well, I guess I did play a lot. But uh, it's uh, being huddled up and being close to grenades. I think the issue is grenades aren't in our usual spectrum so much. But the way I did it here is I initiated contact, or every time I took over something, I initiated contact. And only when I could see you, my reaction wouldn't be first time grenade, but engage and then either move around and then grenade or do something like that, but not to be too hard on you, but um, yeah, being pinned down is an epic issue and the security around that as well. Uh, one time, one AI could sneak up from you from the back here or move around or one, I think Mick and, and JJ tried to move up here and the AI was literally just, just right here and he tried to smoke him and you know, he was in front of the smoke still. That, but that's the, the issue and that's what I try to highlight with this a lot is uh, the security, there's so many the angles it's very difficult and you have to be very very mindful of the angle um yeah i hope this is the one key learning aspect that we had is that there's it's very very difficult and that there is very very many angles you can get shot from uh, for a certain time period of time i placed a machine gun on this building or moved them into this building i didn't place any AI; they were all pre-placed or placed by the modules uh, which works great by the way um but yeah one machine gunner in here and he could press a lot of air yeah. If you have any, do you have any more comments or learning points or whatever? Well, getting pinned down and then some movement of some of the AI kind of took away from the whole concept of moving around and moat from my perspective. Yeah. Really, I mean, we only did a little bit of movement on the right hand side, and then after that, it was just casualty management and gunfights. Yeah, um, and that is what the second part is for. What what I want to do now is movement focused, and not so much on the. Um, uh, well, I think it is. It still is an interesting learning experience. The uh, combat, but uh, well, yeah. So the movement, which we will do next uh, now, really quick, is what the scenario is. Is I want you to um, move from here, basically from where we are now, up until this building. Clear this building. There's one officer in here uh, that you can identify with uh, a black beret. You can uh, kill him and then return again. And uh, what I want you to do for this one is not so much move through, uh, sorry, move through the buildings and clear the buildings, but rather move uh, alongside the streets. Get there relatively quick without getting over focused on too much. I'll be less aggressive, and maybe this is going to be more of a scenario where the enemy is not as aware as they were. We can move it tonight as well, and you can uh, uh, use silences if you want to make a little different um, to create a little different experience and different settings uh, if you want that 
I think yeah. we'll just keep it as day, to be honest, just to keep the number of variables lower, I guess. Okay. Uh, if you if you want to do that, yeah, sure. Okay, so the first thing we want to learn for that, though, is uh, what does a staggered column actually look like? You attempted a staggered column in the very beginning, and that is good, but um, it wasn't necessarily a staggered column. Oh, no. So no, what all. do you think a staggered column uh, looks like then, Jack? Just we'll draw something on the map. Uh, if you see it just on the right of the mount with the dots. Yeah, I see it. Something like that. Yep, very good. <laughs> very good, and there should be a distance between these, right? Yep. Okay, yep. So that is what the staggered column, column, column should look like. You have the point man, and what we want to do when moving uh, through the town is we want to have the first two guys, so this one and this one, cover the low areas um, of, the, of the front here, right? And then the next two guys, they also cover the front, but they cover the high areas, and they basically uh, cross cover. So the, this guy is focusing on this side. And well, I should have drawn this better out, but uh, there you go. Sorry. This one focus focusing on the high side, and then there's a better drawing in the in the documentation. You've probably seen it. So these guys cover high, uh, the back ones. These cover low, and then these ones in the rear here, the two. Oops, this is a big uh, thing. They cover towards the rear. Right, and then if you have additional personnel, you always have more danger areas to cover, right? This is basically always true, that you will need more men than you have to cover everything. And uh, what I want to achieve with this is, I think, um, for example, last the scenario we did last, the training scenario we just came out of, is very typical for what happens in our, in our missions, right? We get pinned down somewhere, and then after that, it takes us a long time to um, recreate momentum, and this... With this, I want to try to stay more um, mobile and more focused on the movement uh, part. So you, you might have to switch into a, um, what is it called? Um, nah. Bounding Overwatch, I think it's English. Yeah, that's the English word. So you, you might want to do more of a Bounding Overwatch thing, but for the initial approach, you can do or until you come under contact, which is, in this scenario, obviously, this is given, but if you are maybe moving through a town that is not necessarily hostile, but where you have insurgents and not just outright enemies all over the place, then you can use this high, um, uh, sorry, low, low, high, high back back thing. Um, yeah, pretty easily. Any questions about this so far? Oh, uh, um... Yeah, the scenario is not necessarily tailored for this technique of movement, but you can use it for the initial approach and you can move it, uh, use, or you could probably use it at night with the AI not being as active and reactive to what you do. So, but yeah. Right. Um, right. Everybody, uh, just uh, re-gear up. If re replenish any magazines, stuff like you've already used. I suggest someone else takes uh, Team Lead of Blue because I might have to go before we finish. Earth, do you want to do it? Or Kelly? No, give Earth a shot. Okay. <laughs> and then JJ, Redmond. yeah, you'll just yeah fall in with us. Right, uh, Earth, if you want to open your map, if you've got all your stuff. Basically, we're going to take the uh, high road, or no yeah. northern road, and we'll just... Um, okay, you want to stay right on the left or the right? Nah, uh, what does that? I'll be... Well, I basically intend us just to be one huge team, and we'll just modulate, recover, and... Uh, you know, taking over positions as need be, but I, I'll say Red will be the first four men in the stagger column, Blue will be the last four men in the stagger column. Okay. Alright, um, I won't bother with the equipment checks because you should have the exact same stuff that you had before you left, so we'll just uh, get in the stagger column formation from, from here, so... JJ, you'll be the second man, so go on on the right. Okay. Um, I'll be first. Uh, Kelly be second. Uh, Tyrone be third, and then um, Nick be uh, the fourth. So we have three men on red now. No, Rory should get over here shortly. Oh, cool. <laughs> so waiting for oh. Rory. I'm here. Yeah. Um, Mark and Rory swap positions. Ah, the other side. Um. I don't on the other side. Alright, we all we all ready? 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, when we get under contact, uh, red team will be responsible for lining up uh, initially, and uh, blue team just continue setting up uh, the security for any contact initially. Then we'll just take it as we have been caught and out, or uh, so. I'm fully expecting us to blend and flow as we set up and cover. So don't feel bad about sticking to your team. All right, let's move slow jog. If we take any casualties, we'll just uh, reach and clear the nearest building to the casualty and uh, set up in there. Spacing. You need a space. Last man moving. No, I don't. You do. I have space. Spacing. And there's corners, so. I'm gonna catch up on him, anyways. Continue uh, up to the Humvee and set up the road for Blue Team to cross. Just slow walk it, guns raised. Blue Team fall back to the road behind us. If you have your uh, laser modules, stick them on now. Earth, are we falling back? Everyone's not. Oh no. <laughs> We're moving. That's his old carps. We'll set up to cover in, uh, the road and then you'll cross over. Right. I'll take the, the road far. Someone take my right Wait, didn't to the alleyway. Need to I take got your right. Other road? Yeah, we we're setting up here so the other team can cross over. Left side. Blank. Are you down? Nope. No, he's in the. Pop a grenade over the wall if you have to. I got him. He's okay. Down. Uh, Rory just provides the rear security. Yeah. Alright, blue team, we're set. You can cross the road to our right. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'll, I'll cross first. Okay, yeah, we're crossing. Set. Crossing. Well, trying. <laughs> Set. The guy on the second floor who's dead just flinched, and I'm gonna shoot him again. Go. Across. All blue team across. Yeah. All blue teams across. You want us to uh, move? No, we'll move across. JJ, go. Following them. Okay. Yeah, cross over. Cross over. Rory, you'll be next. You'll be next. Mark, uh, no, start setting up rear security. Copy. Okay, I'm crossing. You'll be next. Behind you, moving to your left, earth. Right, JJ, take us out. Okay, we'll, we'll catch up and then we'll start moving. Roger, walking. 
Yep, just walk it. Okay, Rory, you better have my front right. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to okay, the wall. Okay, uh, stagger it. Uh, Rory, uh, Rory, I'll swap places, I'll go on the right side of the road. Okay, okay let's just uh, slow, slow walk it now, JJ. I'm slow walking. Uh, just keep a stagger call on this road again. Okay, covering, Rory. Yeah. Crossing. Fire from up ahead. No eyes. Not seen. Line up, red team, and we'll keep pushing to the barricades. Blue team, take the left here, watch it. Reloading. Line up, let's go. Z, he's still up, he's still up. Nade out! Get okay, down. He's down. Back. One down front. Reload. Okay. <laughs> Mark, cover to the right. I'll set up on this uh, barricades. Copy, Rory, right uh, side. do you want to treat, treat me while we cover? Fuck, can't Shout, see please. Anything. I can't hear you. Come to me. Deal with my medical. <laughs> yeah. Blue team, push up Here. to this barricade and continue heading down the road. Managing. Thank you. You'll have Very to cross on the. Uh, Looting, you'll have yeah. to cross on the left of this barricade. It's just a bit of a. Ch ch choke point. I'll cover you on the left here. <laughs> the entrance. Is that you, Kelly, on the right, or is that Mark? Mark. Kelly, yeah, right. Got the gun in the back. Right. Blue team, push across. Loading. Across. Or where? can you not take a left Across. around down this barricade? Road. Yeah, continue moving down the road. Do Re down the road. Continue moving. Oh, yeah. Reloading. Moving. Right. Rear security guys. We'll sit to the left. I'm going first, high run. Yep. I'll, I'll get back. I have sight. Yeah, left. Mark, follow him with us. I got high right. High right. Oh, I'm do. watching the pink building, the yellow building, high right. <laughs> right, JJ. Um, continue following blue team. Rory, Order. go with him. Mark, with me. We'll be rear security. Yeah. Yeah. With JJ. Should we go on the yeah, other yeah. side? Yeah, just right uh, pu push back out into st a stagger down this road. Okay, okay we'll, we'll wait for them to uh, go right. uh, get permission. Well. Contact down the road left. Rory, you'll be on Copy. rear security. Yes. Yeah. You're on that side. Alright, blue team, continue pushing up. Moving. <laughs> Yeah, drop them off. Okay. They should have our side windows, so. Uh, blue team, get to you guys on the right hand side. Unknown if we got him. Roger. I'm hit. Was he behind the building or inside? inside. Yeah, behind the building, but he looked through you. the windows. Okay. Yeah. Pushing past you. Very, if you cover for our topic, right? I'm gonna pop a nade uh, behind the building here. Uh, move okay, up do it. in front of me. Popping. Uh, I'm turning it myself. Nade out. <laughs> Good grenade. I don't see anything. I don't see anything either. I've got the corner. Alright, we're a bit too bunched up. Blue team, team <laughs> moving down. Um. Yo, uh, I'm stable. Yeah. Uh, Take a corner, JJ. Earth, so. send. Uh, yeah, taking corner. Uh, we have uh, two two guys on the right hand side. Well. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll go it. on the side. Okay, I'm taking corner. Right. Kelly, take yours. You got it. There's no contact down here. Yeah, Watch down. out. I'll move the other side. I'll keep covering. You cover front or go across. Yeah. Okay, Marcus, keep walking back. We got another gap here. They don't go. Stopping at the gap. Alright, I'm crossing Kelly. Uh, last man moving. I don't know where they're all coming from. Rory, cover me back a little bit. It's coming from yeah, the window. On the right. Take care of the Rory. Okay, I am set. That one's up. Yeah. Frag out far. Playground. Wow, Mac. 
This guy out. really needs to fucking die. Run forward, run forward. 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 Run Hey Mick, when you when you pass, oh, look left and double tap that guy in front of you. All right, I'm crossing Mick. Yep. He's dead. He, we got him, Murray. You sure? Is he still twitching? I'm getting hit from him. the right. Contact on the playground down. S somewhere around the playground. Okay. Watch tower. Mm, I'm, I have tower. Crossing you, Mick. Okay. Right. right, Kelly, take uh, take point from me. Um, while I treat my, myself. I'm gonna treat here. Got one. Okay. <laughs> Kelly, continue looking down the road. I got a street here. He's not here. dead yet. Hold, Kelly. Hold, 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 hold. Moving closer. Okay, you should oh, be I'll, good. I'll cover the front door right now. Alright, Mark I falling. Fractured leg and uh, wound. Coming in. Oh! Earth is down. <laughs> Mac, Mac, Mac. He's still in there already. Pulling him out. Okay, pull. Uh, yeah, you take, you take left side of the road, Mark. Smoke I'll take right. Copy. Right. You in this building, Mick? Jack, cover us. We're, we're, we're taking, we're, we're right taking rear. Tyrone, you good? Pull Tyrone, back, pull you back. don't want to be out there. <laughs> Tyrone, move back, move directly back. Yeah, uh, fall back, fall back. Okay. Mick, cross yeah. over and uh, set up security for Tyrone on his uh, left. There's no one covering that gap over there. Cross. Where he's at? Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Okay. Block your body, Tyrone. It's uh, Kuma. <laughs> That runs up in front, I think he's up uh, already again, so... Oh, yeah. You two look the same. Pitching him up. I haven't checked his pulse yet. Co co contact down this window. Tyrone, I'll let you deal with it. Straight down this alleyway. <laughs> Tyrone, I'll pop a, a, a nine bang over. Fire. Rear. Pushing up. He's out. I'm gonna drag him further over here. Burn. More. I think I saw something more there. Don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, if you've got this alleyway, I'll continue looking back down the road. Kelly, drag watch him. it below the tower on the right. I saw contact there previously. <laughs> Smoke dissipated. Careful for your rear mid as well. Tyrone. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take this corner then, Tyrone. <laughs> no heart rate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching that way for you. Tower, tower, tower. It's not a fast moving. Yeah, thing. It was faster until we took the casualties. Yeah, as soon as you take casualties, you stop because. I mean, you, you have, have to. to. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mark, you just cover down the road. I'm going to take this uh, alleyway here. Yep. <laughs> Alright, Earth has a pulse again, checking his BP. His BP's fine. I think he's stable. Yeah. 113 heart rate, 120 uh, BP, so he should be fine. There PP? Yeah, there you go. Blood pressure. No, no, it's PP. 
Everybody. Okay. Testing his PP. Earth, uh, take point um, again on the right we'll side, leave. and then we'll I've continue got a moving. Leg and lost Come on. Okay, I'll take oh, oh, okay. Can't hear yeah. shit when the radio uh, is off. Okay. Cool. Right. Yeah. right. Go for it. Second. That's fine. Just continue covering the rear. Yeah. You got front. Uh, got Rory front. can do do rounds. Are we what? Okay. I'm not moving until the left side. We're all up. If there's an open. All door. up. Ow. Did I just get hit? Yeah, far. Did that out? Very far. Yeah. Is the, is okay. Can I get well, a medic to stitch my uh, leg? Okay. We'll continue what? moving. Can I get a medic to stitch my really. leg up on the left hand side here? Ready I'll see him. For our sniper. Bearing 280, like 100 meters down the street. Directly behind that bench and the uh. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Yeah, I think he's down here. Right. Saw something fall. Uh, Rory, push up further up, further up the column and start treating medical with the the rest of us, and then we'll continue moving. Yeah. Who else needs medical here? I do. Kelly. Across Kelly. The Jack, I still you. got Swapping. this alley to your left. Yeah, fall, fall in. You're the last right one in the column, so just push out so we can just cover so back and push past this wall here, so I can cover back as well. It, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Push past which wall? This wall here, I'm at. So you don't get shot from here. Uh, nope. And I haven't okay. used any painkillers. Tighten it up on okay, you, cool. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, uh, let's uh, continue uh, moving the column out then, down the road. Alright, Kelly, okay, we're going to cover there. Okay. Third, I'll move across. Yeah, okay. Alright, Mark, I'll take a rear security here. Should I move on the inside, though? So just uh, continue moving up front. Mick, look, Jumping. your yeah. rear security, your side. Take the, Got it. Look, look Yeah, left side, many contact. He's contact down. down. I'm hit though. Okay, switch. You go back in yeah, cover your position. Okay. Managing. Make fall and uh, okay. walk back a bit. Okay. okay. I take a okay, I'm crossing. I knew what would happen okay. if the left one would move at the same time. Stitching. Actually, JJ, take this corner. I'll I'll bandage you off as you as you hold the corner. Okay, hold on, let me finish this one. I'll hold from the other side. Anybody behind Alright, Rory, what's we'll your uh, ETA yeah. for being good to go? Mandage me. I'm good. Okay, let's continue uh, walking the column down the road. Is that intentional? Yeah. Alright, Rory, cross the street. Go, go, go. Double time. Crossing. Alright, last man crossing. Would you copy? The I'll wall. take some painkillers yeah. or actually more. Right, cross over, Kelly. Crossing. I'll give you. I'll give you more pain. Thank you. Pushing past. Yep. Taking rear. Uh, just yep. need morphine. Otherwise, I'm stable. Uh, other side of the road. Uh, fall back in into the main part of the road where the wall is. Thank you. Crossing. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I'm going to go to this corner. Crossing your fire. Yeah. Moving after make. Okay, I'm taking front. I'm just gonna smoke this. I'm gonna smoke this road, just so you can cross. Oh, fuck. We're moving. Yep. Just keep keep moving. Keep moving. Guys. Rear security arc. Keep moving, Mick. Yeah, I'm covering. I have cross. left high. Okay, keep let's keep moving the, the column now. I've got the right side of the road, Earth. Although it's a bit smoky. Alright, crossing Kelly, I'm the last man. Cover that. I'm set, cross. Crossing. Taking rear again. Okay, I'm gonna be exposing us a great. I'm gonna be exposed a great deal down this road. Who's that at the front? Yeah. Careful, cross. Kelly, with me. Mark and I'll, I'll move up and see if I can take some of them out. Don't forget back, don't forget back. Earth, continue looking down the road. Behind us. One down in front. He's down. Just keep moving fast, move fast. Okay. You're in a corner there. 
Ich habe ihn gekostet, ja, das Seite ist noch Copper Boss, das Seite. Ja, das ist so, No rush. I'll, I'll take the rear out of the zone. Alright, cross my hand, you got it. Last time. Earth, your, uh, fall uh, further I'll back. Right mark, me. moving mark. Pushing past you. Okay, uh, we're gonna halt our advance when these uh, buildings uh, run out. Jack, we really do not want to stop here on the right. Yeah, Jack, and we're gonna you, smoke, and then you you're gonna cross straight to the objective building. Which is objective building, the four story right side, big yeah, one. Yeah, the four story one. Right, whoever's at the front, uh, start down. smoking the uh, road right that the other right team will take to get down. to the objective building. We want a big line of smoke. Oh, mine went inside. Ooh. Check in this left hand corner, that's where the guy fell back to. Okay, if you have to, just yeah. step back. I have to. When it's developed, just start Open. moving on. I don't see him yet. Nobody. Okay, Mick, take front, take front, I'll take left next to you. So close left, Mark. Ow. Fuck. Run into the wall. Remember, use flashes if bandaging. you need to. Behind you. Yeah, I'm bandaging. bandaging. No, don't all bandage at once. <laughs> Just stop securing and let Rory uh, do his rounds. What? What? Going to this corner. What? Check. That's fine. Hello. Just, just deal with yourself, Rory. And oh, okay. once you're no, stable, you. That, you can let everyone. You can go around and treat everyone yeah, I else. Yeah, the guy who threw the grenade. Okay. <laughs> you guys okay over there? Stitching. Yeah, we're fine. We'll cross to you shortly. Earth, can you do me a favor? Can you bandage yeah. me? Okay. All right, <laughs> Kelly. I'm good. Uh, cross. Flash out. Okay. Oh. Long, I think. Coming over this Good. Do you need a uh, sitching, Kelly? Uh, possibly, yeah. We have contact 240 behind the building. I'm sitching up. Too, but I'm holding this left side. Frag out, frag out. Done. To the compound. Smoke out. You. Coming to you, Mark. He's in, in the, the compound. Right. right, Kelly, um, you'll be the first to cross when we do. Sorry, say again. Bandaging up. Jack, say again. Right. Once the smoke's deployed, yeah, once, you, once that's deployed, cross over to the other team. Copy. Uh, we're Stitching. going to move over to the other team and then we'll begin our assault on the objective compound. Rory, when you're ready, cross... The right side, we shouldn't move on the right side, Jack. Move down the road. Right, five seconds. Here. We're moving to Anakin's already. Uh, Copy. Take care of my pain. More feet. Use yeah. frags and flashes that bad? to cross Take on the yeah, right. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You mean you mean He's shooting from far away. You can see yeah, Tracer so on our right, I'm not going out here. Okay, holding, giving you morphine then. We'll go on the left side, there's a gap. Morphine in the leg. Rory, Mark, done. ETA. Alright, we're good. Okay, on me. We're crossing. Crossing. Mick, we're gonna cover, we're gonna cross in front of you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, moving up along the wall on the right. We're gonna be exposed, so be ready. JJ, we're on the other side of the wall from you, so I'm moving the team around. Roger, watch it, watch it. Down the wall, down the wall. Very far. Yep. Right, on the wall. I've got left. Nate, 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 watch out, grenade left, coming in. Get down. Nading. We're on the other side of the wall, don't throw grenades over the wall. We're not throwing grenades. I did. Contact down. Continue moving know. up. Deploying tourniquet. Yeah. I'll cover Kelly, you everyone's you going people. the other way. All right, yeah. let's First, go. We're gonna. I'm gonna come in from the other direction. Okay, just bandage me. Okay. Uh, while we cover. Okay. Dressing the leg. Move. How's the stomach? Yep, yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay. JJ, you might see us. Uh, we're crossing over. Deploy smoke on our left. Yeah, on the right. 
Is that one inside? Hit him, hit him. Let's move up. Hit him and shot him in the face again. Yeah, he's finally down. What the fuck, man? Friendly from the right. I already. Right, start reaching in if you can. Not a door here. Yeah, I'm on the oh, other sorry. side, Rory. Bl blue team, my bad. Flango, yep, uh, Rory and Mark, go on the left Come and back. just cover. The rest of the rest of the team, Kelly, high low yeah, me, yeah. and then the rest of you go in. Okay. How about the side? Right, Mick, Tyrone, JJ, and Earth, start breaching. Go, go, go. Hey, open yep. this. Left looks clear. Let me pie a little bit. I'm going to pie over your shoulder. Hey, Kelly, I'm going to quickly good. eat some ads. I'm going to crisscross going in left. Go in. All right. Wait, so you're with Kelly, and then... Yep, I got him. Oh, yeah, all buildings is clear. Right. <laughs> oh, the main building it's all clear on this first floor. No, no stairs up in the interior. Okay. We'll uh, push around the back of the building to try to go up the stairs. Hey, I guess we're better right. All right, take that Kelly. Corner. Yep, let's go. Oh, you're watching back. Good. Uh, no. Um, you still got back, Mark. Okay, we got smoke. Stepping to your right. Moving on, Kelly. Okay. Remember your angles. You guys can come over here now. There's uh, still that guy up there you, somewhere. Man. Okay, right. right. Or, uh, we're going to deploy smoke uh, past that wall, uh, Kelly. Copy that. Uh, I've only got color smoke. It'll do. Oh, we should should have been on the left. That's what. Right, JJ, Tyrone, push up to the white the wall, pass uh, around this corner. Yeah, you got okay, space I'm and smoke. Uh, you. No, just over, over our right. Okay. Uh, Crossing. Yep, set up there. Uh, Earth and uh, Mick, take take the rear. Okay, Tyrone, you have life here. Okay. Rory Mark. and Mark, you'll you'll back, take over our point. positions, and me take and back, me back, and uh, yeah. Kelly will start moving up the stairs. Just yeah. move. Yeah. Alright, crossing. I'm trying to get the stairs. Oh, armor, please don't fail me now. Crossing. Oh my god. I don't think you can go through there, man. Now. Yep, I can't. You just got a ball. Make sure someone has the rogues behind us. The rogues behind us. There's still a sniper there. Alright, Kelly, we'll call him. Just tap him on the shoulder when you're ready. Yeah, I'm here. Right. Right, clear. Left, clear. Clear. Right clear. Left clear. Alright, let's fall back. To the next set of stairs. I got quickly bandaged myself. Just uh, push up to the door. I hit him, but no clue what happened then. He's up top, machine gunner on your right. Yeah, my cop was like over there in the back. He left, apparently. He vanished. Alright, Kelly, move on me. Up the stairs. <laughs> he was probably laughing so hard now. I go like, what I'm hit. I don't know where from. I think it. Took it from the. Careful guys, you guys in the open. Maybe it's inside the building. Right. Possibly, you're at, you're at a door. Is that door openable? Yeah, I don't know yet. I'm kind of warped into the fucking wall here. I'm gonna move over there. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In front of me. That 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 door can be opened. Oh, I'm bandaging myself. Okay. Use a grenade if you have it. I'm gonna sit in the corner here. Negative. Yeah, that's good. Folks, we're just just. Smokes are dissipating to the 150. I'm gonna cover that direction. Copy. That had to have come from behind us then. Yeah, one second. Yeah, I'm not going out of there. Right. Yeah, Three. from where I got shot, it had to have come from the rocks behind. Hey, two, get a two-man team moving to the northern corner of this building. Had to come from like our Copy. left side. Let us know when you're set, and we'll continue clearing the, the building. I think we are the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're here. Yeah, okay, we're continuing to clear. Ready? A bunch of half max left. Yep. One contact down far. Moving in. Southeast. Yeah, I have one to Okay, I'm gonna button hook right. Moving back. Go. 
Get them into my backpack. Clear. Yeah, clear. This is this our uh, contact. Thank you. Yep. Watch it yourself. Is. Watch yourself. Down the road. Uh, objective has been complete. Uh, man in the berry has been killed. We will now extract the same way we came. Yeah. Contact down, reloading. Yep, let's uh, fall back down the stairs. Move. Yep. Okay, team moving down from the building. Once we're done, we'll just start peeling back the way we came. Copy that. I run my torso and leg keep opening up. You want me to uh, see if we can yeah, make it back? Gonna, I'm gonna come cross your field of fire. Okay. Yeah. Let's fall behind this building. Let's not stay out on this side. It's far too exposed. Okay. Go, JJ. Earth, fall back behind me. Okay. Crossing, hey, yo, crossing, 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 crossing. All right. Crossing your field. Um, uh, Mick, and, Mick, uh, Mick and Tyrone is uh, bandaging. Yeah, Tyrone, Mick, just stop and fall behind the building when you're done. Okay, moving. Wait, am I stopping or? There yeah, just yeah, move, move behind, the move the behind. Side side far too exposed. Crossing. Left side of okay. the building. Okay, Earth falling. Yeah. Yeah. Do much faster. Right, Rory, uh, yes, Tyrone, just real. go around everybody, the everybody the dealing with their medical. And then we'll start moving. What do you need? Just start yeah, just quickly treating everyone. Than Anyone need medical? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, what do you need? Make it, make it as quick yeah, as possible so that we can start moving. Copy bandaging and then you should be good, yeah, really. Uh, be good. Give you a stitch. Yes, you're good. I, I just need a stitch, I think. Alright, you're good. Okay, uh, medics, just radio when my, you my check everyone. Keep opening up. Jack, are you, do you need to be no, medicated? No, no, not anymore. Okay. Like right, right when like, we're set, uh, we'll begin moving yeah. the exact same way we came. Stitching up. Man. We'll split into the style column again, just like we did. You're done. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bro, uh, yep, just radio when everyone's checked. Yeah, All good. Sure. Everybody good. Right, okay, let's get this uh, column moving. Whoever's That's at the front, yeah. let's start walking. Alright. Shots right. Just slow sure. walk it, guns raised. Uh, I think we're going to the, to the left of the wall, it's better, Jack. Gonna come around the, uh, back of the building. Back of the building. Back of the building. Oh, oh come on, what kind of lag is that, man? The left Seriously. The... Yeah, go, go, to the left of the wall. go to the left of the wall, guys. Uh, go, uh, move. I'm on you, Kelly. <laughs> oh, my nose. Alright, uh, where are we getting to go with? Jesus fuck, man. On you. Bro, Popped half a magazine in there before he died, and then I got shot. It's like, it's like keep going, guys. Off. Yeah, just keep moving. Keep moving to the left of the wall. To the left of the wall. Uh, wall. Rory and Tyrone. You go. go. I'll cover. Yep, Earth move. Crossover. Okay, moving. Congratulations, Mark. You're now the rear security. Copy. That's last man. Let's start, let's start moving back. Yep. Just set. Yeah, just keep, keep going, yeah, just, just keep looking back, though. Yeah, I know. You, you can keep looking forward. I'm looking long, JJ. Down the street. Just slow, just slow walk it, Mark. No need to rush things. Ah, uh, I, th I thought we were gonna peel back and move fast. Go to the other side. Nah, it's, uh, it's letting the front of the column do their shit. So hopefully by the time we reach them, it'll uh, be good for us to just cross over. I'm crossing. Crossing. GG guys. Okay, just stop your mark. Who's on the outside of the wall? Nothing good. Alright, Kelly, push up Earth, the wall. you're in my field of fire, dude. Wait, crossing. Am I? Sorry. That left on the ball there. Crossing. Last man, last. Kelly, pop a grenade over the wall and then cross. Throw a grenade. Nade out. Grenade, grenade out. That's not good. Oh, that was a grenade at my feet. Means you're throwing a grenade. I'll grab him. I'll grab him. Pop smoke to our rear. I'm just gonna carry him out. Okay, hold on. 
That was me that fired up some smoke back there. Smoke. Bang. Yeah, I'm gonna need some help. Yeah, just uh, uh, start moving. Bring him to the front of the column. Clear, clear building. South CCP. I need to apply tourniquets, otherwise I'm gonna drop. Yeah, all right. You do that after you've building done it. The, I need uh, to do that. Okay, go. Around here, you got you got safe around here. Mark. Yep. Yeah, Mark, pull back. Already. Pull him back in three seconds. Now. Go, go, go. Inside. Jack, go. Feeling? I'm fully medicated. I'm fine. Wait, where are we going? Back, back, back. Go, go, go. One more. All right. Yep. I'm as good as I'm a new man. <laughs> One more. Friendly, friendly. Go, Jack. Stitching. I need Check medical the whenever you yeah. guys have healing the chance. Oh, Retracing eight. myself. Oh, no, right. Doing CPL. Right. Taking, yeah. taking front. What's this uh, blood pressure like? I'll make sir. I didn't check. Oh yeah, it does have a heart rate, so you don't have a blood pressure. Nah, uh, I'm stupid. It's okay. Right. I've got down the road, Mick. Stitching. Uh, Seventy-five percent done. Uh, JJ and I are all the way down, oh, close yeah. to the playground. Hey, he's got a, he's got a heart rate. Okay, good. Pressure is... Okay, you, you, that's perfect. Stitching you guys, done. you guys stay south there. I need stitching too. Stitching you. Yeah. Of course. How's your pain? I'll need stitching it's when you guys are clear. Oh, uh, pain's okay. Uh, I'll take you over, Kelly. 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 Okay. I don't know if that guarantees perfection. Of course it does. Kelly, don't move. No, no, no. We're like the two generations mixed together. Done. Thanks. Okay. Right. Stitch, Kelly. Mark, if you're Thank good, you. cross to the right side of the road. Copy, I'll eat some painkillers and go. Oh wait, oh no, that's fine. Uh, Kelly. I'll go. Alright, moving. Checking his pulse. Back up. 111. Uh, if, if he's stable, uh, Rory, just pick him up and we'll carry him until he wakes up. Yeah. You're the first. Because we're done, so we're just going to be moving. Oh, he's here, he's here. He's Copy. back. Right. right, you two move into the middle of the column and then we'll start taking it out. Yeah. Earth, you'll be on rear security with me. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Right, set up into a staggered column, four on each side, and start moving us back. Crossover. The solo rocket weapons raised. Stay here. Crossing, Roy. Magazine. Jack, I've got rear. I'm set. You guys are good to move. I'll go first, Tyrone. Yeah, Earth, just uh, start looking in front. Yeah, moving. All right, Kelly, me and you, just start walking back. Small yeah, one. copy that. Yep. Spite. Oh, I'm Small getting caught on this thing. Fight. Better to go on the other okay. side of the street. Stay taking the right. Once they said start moving forward to the left, just cross over. I'm crossing. Sounds like the building. Go next, Rory, go. Keep moving, mate. Alright, support them, support them. Uh, hug, hug the bench to your right, Kelly, that way you won't get shot from behind. Keep pushing. Jack, faster, faster, cross. Double timing. Your last man. Who is last uh, man? Go, go, Kelly's go. last man. One more after me. Down, down, down. 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 Right, Kelly, cr cross past me. Push fast. Yep. Push, push, push. Thank you. I'm good. I'm set. I'm setting back. Right. Got windows left. Hi. Right, continue just walking down. You get Tyrone? Top. Top front, they get the Earth, rear security. I got him right here in this white building. Just let the other guys deal with it. Nick, Chad. Nick, there's Brent. Fuck. Corner door of the yellow building. Top. Jack, go ahead and cross. I got the yeah. corner. Crossing. God damn it. Up here. Reload, you Close. bugger. I think he's dead. Friendly, friendly. I got low front. Okay, take him front. They take left. I've got rear. Uh, I've got a full back. I really need to heal myself. Okay. Coming out front. Uh, Tyrone, cross the road before you do that. Into this back building. Where Rory's at. Yeah, and then I'm gonna run. I can only limp. 
Coming to you, Tyrone. Rory, where are you at? Kelly, just okay. up rear security. Holding, holding. Do we have medical? Yeah, the medicals are dealing with the medical. <laughs> God damn yeah, where's it. the medical? I lost all of my, um, cross the road there, but okay. lost all of my Cars tourniquets. In road. Okay, I need some stitch. I've got left side low, JJ. Roach. Take off your uh, tourniquets. Copy. Oh, no, no, mix down. Done. Let's go get Mick. I was back up. Back up. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm healed. I'm healed! Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> Okay, just uh, push up back into the stair column, and we'll continue moving down. Okay, waiting for Mick to push up in line with me, or almost. Yeah. I'm here. Copy. Start walking Moving. around, JJ. Yep. Left. Dude, the grenade, just throw it. Mac, 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 Mac. Yeah. Did you see where it was at? Yeah, just yeah, around the on. car. Uh, I'm hit. Rory, drop behind me. Don't. Finishing him. We might be able to get this way. Nope. Cover. Okay, crossing. Well, that was a good call. Coming around the car. Back. Back. Last man. Covering. You go. You. Dead. I'm limping. Right there, right there. God damn it, the buildings are disappearing. <laughs> Flash! <laughs> what? Oh, god. I'm set. Turnicate Crossover. On. Crossing. Taking front. I'm bandaging. Park, go. I'm turnicating. Okay. Lost all my okay. tourniquets, Moving. so I have to. Nato. I'm limping, so. Uh, Crossover and split yourself. Enough. Yeah, I will. Okay, I'm moving. Rory, keep, keep looking for Rory, keep forward. No, I have to splint. You keep front. Oh, well, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for you. you. Oh, okay. Pink front. Pink out, front. Pink out, front. Machine gun, machine gun. You good. Hot mic. Hot mic. Oh, I'm gonna die. Chris. Dying. Kelly's on my yeah, okay, it's done. He's good. Totally dying. <laughs> Am I good? All the buildings disappeared again. Done stitching up. Well, two seconds. Mick, stay. Stay. Loading. I stay. You're good. Mark, look, look down the street, your rear security now. Building clear. Right, nice. fall out, quick. Push him yeah. to the corner. If you really wanna wrap it up, uh, Jack, maybe smoke the back and just get the fuck out of here. All yeah. Right. But, well, we're gonna have to smoke back if we want Are you bandaging me? Yeah. Go to the main road. Alright, just double time past me, guys. Moving. Earth. Okay. Yeah, moving. Yeah, Move ahead. past. Got yeah, Kelly. Go, go, go. Last, go, man. Just sap on the other side for me. Last man. Okay, or not. <laughs> go, go. I hung up on the bed. Okay, you two push onto the uh, earth and the Kelly push onto the right side of the road. JJ, maybe crouch. Alright, uh, Rory, uh, keep pushing back. Okay, I can crouch and push there. Okay, I'm crossing past you. Yeah, guys. I'm set, Jack, go ahead. Okay, let's just, uh, if you can, just smoke it and we'll, con and we'll just uh, jog across. Pop. We don't care, we are getting- why are you there? Get back. Yeah, pop just smoke. Get back. Get back. pop lots of smoke down that street. Pop, pop flashes, throw streets. grenades, whatever you've got left. Just throw it down that street. Okay. Mark, 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 pull back, pull back. Oh, Ow. so fucking flashed. What the fuck oh. like this? Let's go, let's go. Pull, pull. Back. Jack. Yeah, that's do fucking- this? you don't call flashes for that, man. <laughs> Moving. Jack, move. Crossing. Crossing behind. Last man. Guy ran into that courtyard. Kelly, your last man. Start moving. Huh? Reloading. I'm empty. All my half empty magazines now. 
Yeah, just keep walking one bullet every three seconds. Flash out. Get over the hill, get over the hill. Yeah, it's up timing it. Turn again. <laughs> that was a lot, of, a lot of pain, a lot of blood. I'm not turn again. Okay, I think, that's, I think we'll call it there. I think that's uh, all I sight at the time. Holy fuck. <laughs> My frames and all that smoke was going out. <laughs> yeah. Your flashes didn't help at all. Please don't call flashes when we're still not moving. Me and Rory got completely whitened. Oh, sorry. That was a nine bang as well. <laughs> yeah, we noticed. Thank you. Yeah, I w you threw it in next to me. Oh, uh, I was down the street. I was expecting you were all straight head. on my left. Nope. Well, we were, but you threw it in, uh, in on the road. <laughs> okay. Alright, everyone, let's just uh, regroup here. Double time it if you can. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go like real fast now, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I gotta go soon as well. Okay, well, that was a lot better this time, guys. I definitely felt like we, when we stopped, we weren't stopped for too long and we managed to keep the trainer going. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That was a, it, a lot more was fluid. Good. Yeah, and I definitely think we demonstrated the moving of uh, positions throughout the call or throughout the covering. Like, yeah. no one was stuck being last man, no one was stuck being on point. We fluently moved down the, down the road taking points as needed uh, I, good use of flash and grenades when needed <coughs> over walls uh, good use of suppressor fire as well so I think that was well done a bit hairy in some situations but I think that was a good example of the uh, amount in use no one died uh, well yeah. Tim, Tim healed a few <laughs> critical people Ah, for, yeah. for about you, Tim? Mm, yeah, I think it was a lot better than the first run. Um, it was roughly the same amount of AI. I think it was roughly the same amount of AI left, and you could definitely see an improvement. Uh, I still stepped in and healed from time to time. I did use a little less grenades because, uh, uh, you know, time constraints. But um, overall, I think you can already see that it's a lot better. And like I said in the beginning, there's obviously issues uh, that will not be ironed out in the two or three hour course. I think if you want to uh, really uh, get better at this, you know, the mount core is really easy to use as a laptop inside. You just get someone else to do it with you um, and you can do it. And I think that's a real big thing to take what? away. Like you can have these big sessions here and that's fine and all. But first of all, I could already see that some people would have had wanted to or needed needed a more in-depth um, conversation about a, a certain things and then Others were more, you know, had more issues with the basics, and that's always a very big issue. Uh, additionally to that, there are some other basic issues with T Triple C, from what I saw. Um, not everyone knew when they needed to be stitched and when not, and when they needed to be moving and when not, uh, and what injuries are critical and which injuries are not critical. Um, but yeah, so there are also some other subjects we need to talk about at one point in time. Or we need to address uh, further down the line, but like I said, I think it's you. You could already see the improvement. Obviously, the mission, uh, the second one here, was a bit more focused on getting somewhere, doing something instead of, um, you know, clearing a specific set of buildings. And again, I did tune down the diff difficulty a little bit, but uh, part of this, especially in the first one uh, and the second one as well, training exercise or live fire training exercises here. Uh, it was more difficult than AI is, definitely was. Um, but I think it's a good uh, good point and it indicates the issues more when you actually like actively abuse and, and exploit them. Not in an excessive way, but if you actually point them out and then show the, show the issue inside of the uh, combat environment, rather than saying, okay, you should pull a 360. It, it's much, you, The learning effect, I think, is much bigger if you walk someone in the rear and just shoot you. Um, yeah. And then again, the big takeaway is if you want to get better at any of this, first of all, you have the, for principles, you have the SOP, you can just ask people. Um, 
And then secondly, you just find someone, get on the server. You can literally, everyone can at all points in time go inside there. There's a laptop, you can use that. Create the um, course. There's going to be a bunch of AI uh, that will be populating the town. And you can go from back to front as much as you like. And that's why I didn't really do this in this run, because you can do that on your own time and not necessarily in like a big uh, session like today. All right. I think we couldn't really apply all the principles we talked about because, you know, that's just too much. Uh, I would have liked to, of course, but yeah, you can't always apply everything in every training session. So we were more like spot checking, uh, maybe doing a little bit of medical as well with this one. Um, at least for the medics, you had to work with a bunch of uh, MK, you know, mass casualty incidents and multiple casualties at once, which is, I think, also a very important skill check you have as a medic. All right, if you have any questions or comments as well, maybe you thought I should have gone more into details or less or uh, make it a little bit less hard, uh, feel free to, to point that out. I think it was uh, good for, I think, what we already sort of are familiar with. I think the main thing is uh, being able to teach the others who weren't at the session so that we can bring them up to the same level. Yeah. Uh, and use that in missions and see, and make it effective. Yeah, uh, the, the problem or one of the issues I always have with Mount is, and you don't have to stay, if you have to leave, you can leave as well now. Um, a lot of this is really SOP stuff that needs to be, you know, that you just learn it or you don't, and then you work with functions, as, uh, you work with people or you don't, because you could already see this as well with some people that have worked a lot together, they'll flow a lot better. Like, let's say Kelly and JJ worked, obviously, like, you know, there weren't any kind of communication issues, but if with people that aren't um, aren't familiar with whoever they were working at that point in time, um, it's oh, yeah, also the, That's noticeable. why those trainings are super good. Yeah, there's a noticeable difference in experienced people and people that know each other. And then there's also, you know, obviously there's other issues as well, like staggered columns, for example. Obviously, we can't do staggered columns. I, we saw that quite clearly in the very first uh, uh, attempt to walk into this town. So again, something else we've learned. Then medical training. We already, already saw as well uh, that it's lacking and that uh, we need some additional training on that um, in understanding how to react to certain situations as an injured person or as a medic or whatever, or as a team in general. I, I have a comment on the staggered column thing. Mm -hmm. Well, on the first one, I think we were um, it, it, we were staggering with red team on the left, blue team on the right, um, and it it just wasn't organized for the staggering. The second time we did staggered with red team in front, blue team in back, and I don't think that works very well because if you have to separate to the right or left, you've just separated your team into right yeah, yeah. or left both both are, um, both are very possible and has its certain uses but um just pick one and, and do it i mean they do look the same at the end of the day yeah and so the I, distances are the same and uh, everything else is the same uh apart well yeah so i don't i think when we stagger we should stagger with the teams on the same side of the road so that if you have to maneuver you have to flank someone doesn't have to cross the road to get to their team yeah, that is one of, like I said, the other option has different uh, um, uh, advantages. For example, if you take contact front, you can get your first team into a line and have the second team flank around easier. If uh, you see, but there's always advantages and disadvantages. And maybe walking into a town, that could be an advantage to have it split up in both ways. Uh, to have, you know, one team on one and the other team on the other side. But in an open field, for example, it could be less beneficial. But yeah, uh, you know, but you can do that. I mean, the team that can do that, you're not bound to having one team there and one team there at all times. If you creatively find a solution for a problem, then definitely solve the problem. Yeah, I think uh, that's a good point, Nick. Um, but I do feel like halfway through, like when we actually were in the town doing the stuff, at that point, whether you're red or blue doesn't really matter. As long as you've got four bodies on either side of the road and you're moving as as one big team. Yeah. Also, that points out one more thing. Uh, you know, the reason why I didn't do body teams, and I did say it in the beginning, is, uh, I, I think, uh, noticeable. You shouldn't necessarily focus on one person overly. I mean, of course, you're going to be moved as one team, uh, you know, as red or blue uh, from time to time. But basically, everyone is your 
part of the part of your team, and you might have to work with them at one point in time. But uh, I hope you had fun. I hope it wasn't too boring and too much uh, theory. Uh, no, um, Tim, this was pretty much. This is great. Oh, it was great. Much it was good. Yeah, like it was fun. Theory was like the first yeah. about twenty minutes or half yeah. hour. It wasn't, no, long, it wasn't long, like long at all. It wasn't like 40 <laughs> minutes, actually. Oh, was it? It didn't feel like that. <laughs> yeah. It's but always it longer than you planning planning about things that Because I know that most of you already know these basics, uh, so we could move on quite fast. I think last time we focused a lot more on the actual technique and less on the... Uh, because we didn't have foot training before that, so we had to obviously build a foundation. So this is already a bit more advanced. But uh, yeah, there's definitely points of improvement and... Again, I already said it like three times, but the big takeaway for me is with the mount course we have now, just take someone and do it. And you can, if you really want to get good at it, just keep doing it. And it's um, also fun to do it, so. Yeah, and it's also basically your own simple little armor mission. You can even, before you spawn the AI, you can set up a scenario if you want. And maybe there's a crash down helicopter, I think, heavy place here, so you can make a scenario with that or play something else in this building or that building or whatever. Uh, so you can definitely... Um, have some fun in this with uh, within an urban environment while training the skills there.